Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion stream. Hello everybody, hello. What's up Rain? What's up Damon? How goes your day man? C. Davis, hello. Let's see here, hang on a second. Abaddon, what's up my man? How are you? Today we're going to be trying out some Dexterity Faith, because uh, this build is the type of build that I haven't used the most, I would say. Out of all my testing, I've done a Sorcerer, Strength, Pure Dex. Dex Faith I didn't give too much love to. So I'm going to try out some of the weapons that are just strictly for Dex Faith today. The Halo Scythe. we got the Tree Spear. Uh, the Wing Scythe I can use. I just need to swap on my Two Finger Heirloom, which is fine. Uh, the Black Knife. Sacred Relic Sword. A few other Lightning Infused weapons as well. Hello, guys. Oh, yeah. Stats are there on the right. Uh, so probably from what I've been you know, doing as I invade, I do one day where I do like 125 to 150 range. And then I try uh, 80 to 90. So I get quick invasions. And it's interesting to see how different builds do at different levels. So it's been it's been fun so far. Put that there. Yo, Zanswit. Thank you so much, man. What's up, Maxis? How goes your day? But yeah, where do we want to start invading, boys? Um, At least 85 gets us... You know what I like about 80 to 90? I get to invade Landell. <laughs> Honestly, 140 is sick because we get uh, constant Nocron, I guess. Or 130. 125 to 138. Uh, 120 is fine as well. Honestly, I can make a build at whatever level. I, I just go to whatever has the most invasions. That's usually my favorite to stream. Hey, so I get constant battles the whole time. There's like no downtime. Yeah, yeah. 80 to 90 seems to get the most around the map. Uh, 120 to 138 gets the most in like the later-ish areas, I guess. And some of the underground city. Someone just parry? Hello there! Let's see how much, I really wonder how much of a buff this gets. Hey. Hello, Sir Lags a lot. Hey. Let's do it, me and you. I'm a little afraid just because of your name, but uh, you could be my first fight. Wizard. Hang on a second here. We dodge and Gunner. Thank you for the tips on the 125 strength. Oh, no problem, man. That's definitely one of my favorite builds. Uh, one, My 138 strength actually is my favorite. You can put that on a great hammer? Damn, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect that. Huh. Chase the thank Hang on, I gotta get by the wizard. Whoop. Having a wizard in the back is never ideal. Alright, we go this way. Thank you, Gunner, man. I appreciate that, honestly. Here, let me buff this. Sorry. Yeah, I wasn't ready for war when I spawned in right there, boys. I'm good now, though. I'm good now. Ah, oh, I just missed that. I really don't know the timing on how long until that fires, but I'm getting the hang of it slowly. Bap. Yeah, there we go. Bap. Um, he's kind of running towards danger. Whoop! Aww. Aw, there it is, I was throwing the bomb. Uh, grand, we're gonna see some double trouble. Yeah, I definitely wanna ooh, do some hosting with some other uh, streamers sometime soon. Although I know G plays on PlayStation, so I don't know if his PC actually uh, works well with the game. My Actually, my other PC that I had a while ago that has a 2080, I do have to say the game runs like poopy on that. So I can see where the complaints came from for the performance. Uh, yeah, Lumelia, come here, Lumelia. I wanna, I, I want you to heal actually, because I want to see the difference uh, from hit to hit. And thank you so much, Grand. Yeah, that was actually honestly a fun time, the hosting in Dark Souls Three like that. We gonna see some double trouble with G Nine. It deals holy damage. Uh, well, you can't infuse it. it. It has a locked in Ash of War. Hello there. Wait, I, he's kind of immune for a second, right? Can I get a backstab? Well, I probably could have if I would have been able to pull out an R1. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. That was pretty good damage. This thing has a pretty decent R2 as well. Yeah, see? It's got like a double strike. So it could roll catch pretty easily. Uh, Where'd the host go, though? 2080 runs. Maybe it's my CPU. I think I only have an i7 on that CPU. I don't know what's bottlenecking it. I actually just like kind of pulled it out to have <laughs> to have my PC kind of be like my living room setup. Uh, but yeah, my game doesn't perform well on it. Or maybe it's the RAM. I'd have to look at how much RAM I had on that. I thought it might be the graphics card though. Wait. Oh. 
runs it low on 50 FPS. Yeah, or maybe I'm just so used to it being perfectly smooth on my current PC that just like using that makes it <laughs> not feel as good. Mimic tier behind. Oh shit, you're right. He's uh, he's above. Sorry, I was reading the chat so heavily. I passed him. <laughs> I got you. See, I seen the compass. At least the compass is here. That helps me. Oh my god, he's a bubble pot. <laughs> okay, so 415. Amelia, you should heal yourself. Oh, you're dead. What? what was that choice? I really want to know how good of a buff this actually is in PvP. Yeah. Thank you, Cliff. I appreciate that so much, man. Thoughts on crossplay? I personally would love crossplay. <laughs> uh, so it gives it about like 70. Oh, okay. More like 50 more AR. I wonder how that translated, if it actually works well. Uh, uh, low weight. Thank you so much, man. What kind of build do you like for the moment for PvP? I would say, like, obviously there's the best builds that are, like, bleed and arcane at the moment, just because bleed is very overtuned, but, uh, I like strength and dex the most, I think. They allow me to have the most interesting Ashes of War. I could put on, like, the magic Ash of War, make it scale physical, whereas you can't make, like, a... Uh, a fire ash of war scale off intelligence you know what i mean so i feel like strength and dex are the most interesting for that reason not the best though there's definitely really strong like combos with bleed and stat procs and a few other things right now but they're very fun oh like magic grease oh yeah i can but i guess i could easily use like a body buff or a magic buff on it right not both can have uh this thing buff itself and then also buff it with a uh, like a resin Oh, hello there, Luke. Oh, hello there, Raven. Let's try this spear a little bit more, actually. I thought it hit pretty hard in the last invasion. All right, let's go. You guys are both welcome to hit me at the same time. Oh, you know what? Perfect timing to use my barrier of gold that we invested in. But first, we need to disengage the combat for a second. Ah. Hold up. I want to... You're going to allow me to apply this. You will. You will allow this. I will hide in a bush to do it. Oh, I don't have a talisman equipped. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now your wizard spells mean nothing, wizard. <laughs> well, I'll still try to dodge them, though, because, like, why would I want to get hit on purpose? But, I mean, if they do chip damage me... I don't take much damage. That's the bonus here. Oh, he was out of wizard. Oh, I'm getting counter hit. <laughs> oh, and that thing just saved my life. Would you look at that? I probably would have died to that. <laughs> Man, going for backstabs is always so dangerous now. If you do get it, sweet. If you don't get it, though, you're kind of, kind of boned. Wait. Barrier of gold's kind of nice. We'll take the buff, too. This is not Stars of Ruin. It's like a nice in-between. Oh, I got perfume, too, if you come close to me. <laughs> As if you missed that. Oh. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> Oops. I like how they were trying to time their magic together. That's pretty good. That guy is a projectile warrior. Uh, nothing really. I can use Vike Spear as well. I was just trying out the Tree Spear, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> the bushes here make them hide so well. Man, that guy is just in the back as like a friggin' projectile monster. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I'm gonna put on some regen for a second. He hasn't stopped casting that. Oh wait, that's actually not a spell, right? That's just like a long range heavy attack. Get some regen going here. Yeah, the tree spear's actually been pretty cool. You know, I might use the trees a little bit. I keep getting stuck on so many objects here. There we go. Regen. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's better, like, 
I mean, it has good damage output. That's probably what's going for it. There we go. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, this guy might die to curse. Seems good, though. We're fine. Hello there, Luke. Now just me and you without the wizard to interrupt us. <laughs> Honestly, he's pretty tanky. I'll give him that. Oh, well, now that thing's on my side. Now you gotta deal with the 2v1. <laughs> Oh, I hit the wall. Honestly, this thing has good roll catch potential. It's not half bad. Goodbye, Luke. Good mix-ups with the crouch attack on this. You get like the side slash and then you go in for the running attack. How's it heavy? How's it running heavy? Oh, it's like a charge. Oh, we could use the running charge more than... Thank you so much, Jake, man. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's like better or worse. It is very different. Vike has the madness build up. This just has higher AR. That's all. You can do both, though. Yeah, it's actually really good. I got to use that running R2 more. I am so... I'm so forgetful. That spears have a running R2. And I still... I can't remember when I'm using them. Godslayer Greatsword. Which one is... Oh, that's the, the Colossal, right? I did use it in the past. It honestly wasn't my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of buff Ashes of War, even though the spear has one. There's never... I don't know. I feel like they, they miss a moveset because of that. Uh, just for Madness? Well, no. The Tree Spear needs uh, 18 Faith. I need to swap on a ring for the Winged Scythe, but it needs 24 Faith. The Black Knife, 18 Faith. Uh, Sacred Relic Sword 22 Faith. So there's there's a decent amount of weapons that need Faith Index. Yeah, the the Ultra is almost like a quality, yeah, but it needs what a certain amount of Faith. At least the yeah, at least the Spear gets a, a good damage buff. You're not wrong. This has got something going for it. The Colossal kind of like the Ash of War is. They kind of have to walk into it. Might be good for bosses though. Like there's certain weapons that are better for PVE than PVP, for sure. Sorry, I didn't mean buff Ash. It is a move. It's just not the most useful move. I was confusing the, the Colossal when I was talking about that. It's like a, a really slow double swing. Its R1s are good though. Yeah, I do like that it has a unique moveset. Uh, Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> hey, boys. Yeah, oh, the Sacred Relic one. Yeah, that one's... I feel like that one's more of a... Is that more of a Faith scaling? One of these is more... This is more Dex, which is nice. We could try this out. I just need to wear the uh, Faith Ring. Hello there, Shrek. I'll come to where you're a Phantom Zet. This thing, honestly, though, takes up so much FP for its Ash of War. It's pretty ridiculous. Like... <laughs> Uh, that's why it's not my favorite overall. No Estus for you. Although I think he was... Ah! He wasn't gonna duel me. <laughs> I love that he went for the heal. <laughs> Thought he wanted a duel. Hey, Jack, thank you so much, man. He's like, I want my revenge. <laughs> Come get your revenge. It's here waiting for you. Um, what else? The black knife would be cool. I don't use it much, though. It, like, dwindles HP, so it can be good. Uh, Thanks for the consistently amazing content, Chase. Hope oh, wait, you know what? I have enough faith for this right away. Thank you, Jack, man. Hope your Friday's going well as well. Sounds funny. Well as well. Hello there. Double spear. The madness meter. Oh. I see you. Ah, uh, this thing has a decent crouch attack, actually. 
I don't know how good the madness buildup is on it, but... Oh, no, my bait. Well, that actually eats up a lot of stamina. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, that still does ridiculous amounts of damage. Pretty good. <laughs> I think he's out of FP. Am I weird for preferring to fight with one arm? I mean, one hand. One arm. Oh, I didn't expect the madness buildup to go off there. <laughs> one hand. I don't like dual wielding these that much. I'm more of a one weapon at a time kind of guy. Unless they're like so good dual wielded, then sure. But spears for some reason, I like I like two handing them. What the? What in the heck? Yeah, it's so much stamina cost. Honestly, it's crazy. Oh, dual Noggies. Didn't even see that. That guy's getting kind of wrecked by that. We tagging out? Ah, uh, hello? R1? <laughs> I was running after him for so long, spamming R1. Honestly, yeah, a quick trick. If you're running and you jump and hold the run button, you won't be able to attack for so long. But if you let go of it in the air, you'll be able to attack right away. Learned that from Amir. <laughs> The game has like some input reading issues with running for some reason. Very annoying, actually, how it eats your input like that. Oh god. <laughs> These things are a menace. They keep knocking them down. Oh, I want to hit him with the madness buildup, but uh, well, it's it's always been that way for DS3. Like you'll be mid roll, and you can still kind of hear the the sword hit you because the status will build up for bleed, frostbite, and whatnot. So. That means work is done. Have a good weekend, bro. See, like right now, see how I'm dodging, but he's still bleed building up on me. Uh, that's just the way statuses work. <laughs> double spear, double spear, huh? <laughs> All right, I guess you want a double spear battle. I gotcha. I got what you need. Let's go your double spear versus mine. I warn you. I've used these a lot. <laughs> I'm much more menacing with the double spears. You ain't going to like my double spear. Asleep? <laughs> that would have hit him, man. My aim's getting better with those bombs, dude. <laughs> that was a good free aim with the crossbow. I'll have to give that to him. Um, we can offset their chip damage though with this. That way we're fine. Rip that dude, I know, right? Oh, you know what? We can finish him off with the thing that we have. We have I haven't used this yet, and it'll be really funny to use. Oh, that was just out of range, man. That's hilarious. That would have been so good. Um, What's a really good finish? Actually, yeah, that thing is a very good finishing tool. I just need a way... Actually, you know, maybe the ice thing. really depends. I don't know how that hit me, but alright. There you go, Shrek. Bad trade, because I had blood loss from that. Um, we'll put the blood pellets on us. This guy's a fan of his bleed. Imagine not getting that. <laughs> That's kind of sad, honestly. Uh, 
There we go. <laughs> All right, Shrek. Now we fight or you quit? What is this? Are you, I guess, do that until I... Until you resummon? Yo, Common. Thank you so much, man. I'll read that in two seconds. Let me just get in on this. We got, we got to tire him out of the Bloodhound step. In fact, he might be out of it. Oh, that was a bad time for you to attack, finally. Ah, there you go. You dodged the... Oh, no. You aggroed. Actually, you know what? This is good with the Blood Knife. It's good for, actually. It can kind of, like, chip them down through the Bloodhound stuff. Not that it's obviously a direct counter or anything, but it's useful. There we go. Just keep draining his HP, I guess. Or maybe we can get the Madness build up on him. Possibly. Naked. Naked Fap running. Okay, goodbye, Shrek. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's really useful, man. It's good to have the Black Knight for that reason. Uh, but yo, K-Man, okay, uh, have you tried the Warped Axe? Yes, a little on my strength build. I just kind of got it recently. I didn't use it for the stream yet. Uh, me and my friend Lost were just looking at some of the axes. And that one seems good. Yeah, it's got uh, good scaling as well. Yo, thank you so much. I've been dying to ask you two questions. First... How do you get your inventory screen to look like that? Do you mean the weapon organization? While you're in the weapons menu, I've just click left analog. Two questions. First, like that. How do you get your item inventory screen then you choose like order that. of acquisition. Second, how do you get a and you uh, pull them out of your grace point in the order you wish. Uh, for the lightning one, you need to find the wet blade that allows you to make any physical ash of war into lightning scaling. Uh, I forget what the name of the wet blade is, but if you Google the Elden Ring wet blades you will find the location for each of them. But yeah, you can make any physical Ash of War, like a strength dex or quality one, all whatever you want. Oop. Thank you so much, though. Yeah, uh, but yeah, the inventory, if you mean like this, just click R3 to minimize your menu. There's like in-depth, simple, and then L3. You have a whole bunch of ways to sort your weapons, however you wish. Yeah. The one is that's the one in the cap oh the sacrificial one, yeah, lets you scale sacred or lightning, you're right. It is in the capital. I always confuse the name of the wet blade. Ah, thank you, acrylic. Oh um, yeah, use the spear a little bit more actually. I was enjoying it. Uh although with the spear, it doesn't have like a, an ash of war that attacks, so maybe the spear talisman might be better. Um let's go to Oxtella. Sure. If you get, oh jeez, I just realized that if you do beat Malekith, then the Wet Blade might get locked out of Landell because, wow, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's a really interesting point. Okay, maybe maybe not here for level 80 then. Um, Let's go to Kaled a bit. We do get Kaled invasions though. It, that's an annoying feature. I don't like when they change like a part of the map from Endgame. I missed it on my first character. Yeah, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it makes sense though. That's like the holy city, you know, with all the like holy damage. Well, the Godfrey boss, the ghost of Godfrey. He's all gold. Akela is actually a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite areas to invade. It's so big. Usually there's like teams of three here as well. Hello, boys. How are you? Hello, hello. Hellion. Face. I don't even know if it's worth it to buff, but I'll buff it. Ah. <laughs> well. All right. <laughs> I guess it'd be like that. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't reach this far, right? Pretty sure. All right, we go in. He's got a katana. Oh, wait. He's still going for it. It's honestly hard to punish that because it's got good range, right? So you got to watch out. And sometimes you don't really actually see the animation of the lightning, so you kind of have to dodge it based on the thrust of their sword. That's something that I've learned from fighting it like that. See? Kind of still gave me the, the hit marker even though I didn't see it at all. Yo, Kyle, thank you so Always much, man. The content. Thanks for More. Picking up my weekend the right way. These walls, man. There's so many things slightly in the way in the open world, though, I do have to say. It gets a bit difficult <laughs> to, like, manage your surroundings. I was going to say, is the guy with the scythe going to attack? Okay. Hmm, okay, this weapon is obviously not doing the best for us. Jeez, that hurt a lot, man. That guy hurts a lot with that. That's like a third of my HP. I have that too. Don't make me resort to it. I will resort to it. Although you're way more damaging than me. Maybe because of the build? Yeah, he has, a, he has so much FP as well. Holy dude. Okay, yeah. Jeez. Alright. Um, okay, we take the ultra out then. That's way too much damage. And the amount you can use that Hellion is quite disturbing. I think his whole build is that. Did I just get hit twice by that site? To get comboed? <laughs> Clutch buff. I mean heal for him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Buddy! How much can you use that? That's impossible, right? Is this whole build FP? <laughs> it's still going! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Actually insane. Thank you guys so much though, Kyle and uh, Valmik. I'll read that in one second. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> oh my god, crazy. I was gonna say, this guy's never not panic rolled. What are you hitting? Okay, this guy's lagging hard. He just hit me three times, and he wasn't even aiming at me. Oh, there's my hit from earlier. Okay, well, I think those all hit him. Look at, look at where he's aiming. He's seeing me in the past. His download isn't, isn't high enough right now for combat. There's all of them. They all, they all converged at once. <laughs> he downloaded all my hit packets at the same time. There we go. <laughs> there they all are. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, what did I miss though? Uh, K-Man, uh, have you seen the cannon? I have, I have seen the cannon glitch thing. Uh, where you shoot with the bolts, but it's the great bolts. Yeah, I've definitely seen that. Uh, K-Man, thank you, man. And also Valmik, I appreciate it. Sorry, I was very, uh, <laughs> very scared of what I was fighting right there. That was terrifying. There we go. Uh, what sword was I using or was he using? For the most of that, I was using the spear and then I swapped to the ultra and then uh, they had the scythe. Uh, the, I don't know what the host, the host just had, I mean the phantom had katanas. <laughs> you got the chase package, oh my god, that's funny. It's a whole bunch of combos. Uh, I do like katanas, you're right, I don't use them that often because I used katanas quite a lot when the game first came out. That's really why. Hello boys, let's do it. Armidius. 
I've been liking Great Spears, though, again. I kind of took a break from using them, because I used them a lot at the beginning as well. But I've been liking them again. Hello there. Dual Great Sword Lad. What are we doing? All right. Not a fan of R2s from the side. Oh! <laughs> All right, Sebastian, I see. Ooh, wait, there's water here. Hold up. We can use our dual lightning swords because they will be very useful when standing in water. That guy also has a lightning attack, though. I'm going to have to be very careful. Ah, I would have got him with really high damage right there. But this guy's throwing lightning. Smart. Very wise. I think I can get him here. He's gonna be aggressive. No. Okay. Armedius. I need to split them up a little bit. Nice. On the water. That's interesting. Okay, we'll go somewhere else. They have too big of an advantage here. They all have lightning as well. That's like double resistant loss because of the rain. We need to split them up. Use that Drake. The Drakes aren't very strong. They actually die really quick. But if they're not paying attention to me for like four seconds, we can kill one. Armedius? What's his name? Oh, Amidus. <laughs> I thought there was an R in there. My reading level. Um, Wait, where'd the other guy go? He's sneaking around, kind of. Okay, maybe not. Wait a second, this could be funny. I'll give them the treatment I was just given. <laughs> but it's raining here, so it's better. He's lurking, I see him. I see you guys zoning. You're zoning well, I'll give you that. Um, Maybe this? I don't know what we can use here to be the best, actually. Okay, that could be good. No, where's the third one at? Third one lurking. Um, let's see, okay. He's actually chilling. Oh, that kind of has some shield. Oh, it's because I have lightning damage, that's why. Actually, I really do want to try the dual pure swords. Seems to not get one hit doing it. You know what? We have these. Oh, that's pretty strong, actually. In the scenario here. Oh, yeah. 540 damage. Oh, boy. Get your dragon breath out of here. Oh, I almost hit him. I like how they're trying to set up, like, some ambush. <laughs> Hello. Hey, do the jumping L1. That'd be cool. Uh, good thing you can just kind of, like, accept the first hit of that, and then it's fine. Oh, not very damaging. Might need something with more stun. That guy's poisy. He's very poisy. has got quite the poise. Not like too much for an ultra at least. This could get their shields. You can do some jump attacks on their shields. You know what? Oh yeah. Okay. Lightning throw. Even in the rain, that's not very good. I think he can poise our double slash. Um let's get this. wasn't paying attention to me. Why is he chilling in the back over there? Is he low? He must be out of Estus. Woo! Oh, he's got the bleed buff. Okay. Ah! Wait, why didn't that hit me? <laughs> Convenient for me, I'm not gonna complain.
Uh, poise lets you tank certain hits of a sword, so every sword has a certain amount of poise damage it does, so depending on, like, what your poise is, you can tank the hit of a certain weapon. I can get him through the shield. Oh, yeah. I can. Sweet. Oh, they're together. <laughs> nice. Honestly, they are playing very together, except for right now, where they just kind of abandoned this guy. So he's probably going to die. We'll take it, though. No! My chance to wipe away with that one phantom. Oh, well, this guy's kind of low now, so that's fine. Oh, he's still alive. Wow. Oh, that one still has HP. Oh, you're back with health as well. Okay. Thought I had drained them all. Guess not. Nah! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I gotta hand that to them. I thought that was, that was funny. Oh, unfortunate the dragon hit you. Goodbye, Andreas. That was actually quite a long three fan fight. I'm surprised. Okay, let's use the Vike Spear then. That'll help me get through. Maybe the R2. Build up the madness. That does good damage on me. Oh, he's still not built up. There we go. Not enough to kill him though. He's a tanky boy. Out of FP, no! <laughs> I'm pretty sure the host is gonna go resummon, but that's fine. You know, maybe we can hit him with a parry. I wouldn't be surprised. He does like to double swing. Ah, yeah, he's definitely just buying time for his teammate. Wait, what? His teammate was ambushing me and missed? No way. That's so unfortunate. This chips through shields. That's why I keep it on me. Ah, uh, but we are in water, so now we can try out the lightning thing I wanted to try. Ah, uh, he didn't come close enough with that. I like how the host actually has, like, lightning. Oh, this is a really good invasion fight. I like them. Doing good damage. Got good poise. The lightning is not nice. I'll probably get out of the water. My curved swords are not beneficial there. They just have poise trade. That guy would. Oh, he hit me over the air. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hit him. Where's this guy going? Why is he running away? What the hell, Sebastian? <laughs> Sebastian! Come back! <laughs> Why does it devolve into this? Oh, wow, that would have been so bad. I didn't even want to do that rolling attack. It just kind of happened. There we go. Get off me. <laughs> what? Why is his spells, like, missing me sometimes when they obviously hit me? I know net code and all that, but... <laughs> that happened twice with this guy specifically. Oh, maybe he's a bit laggy. Oh, yeah, a little bit laggy. Okay. I try to parry him for fun. Oh yeah, okay. That makes more sense to me now. Thank you. Ooh. 
Takes it pretty late. I didn't really notice because I was paying more attention to his teammates. He just rolled out of a combo. <laughs> what the heck? That's strange. I've never seen someone roll out of that. Uh, okay. Yo, Kyojiro, thank you so much, man. Um, I don't know what the play is here. I guess I just need to do high damage. Oh, that would have been the coolest backstab. <laughs> Fun fight, Armedius. Fun fight, man. Yo, Kyojiro, though. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I've been watching your stuff for years. Keep up the great content. Thank you. I try, I try. Uh, I, well, I mean, Giant Hunt works on all my builds. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Ash of Wars are mostly the damages tied to the weapon itself. Not so much as specific scaling. Some benefit, I think, from the their natural, though. To my knowledge. Although, yo, those, those phantoms were very tanky. They were. There you go. Yo, Tails, thank you for the membership, man. Uh, my favorite build so far? I'm not really sure. Uh, I do like strength. I think strength is the most fun. But there are some really unique things you can do with other builds, so like they're all good in their own way. I, I tend to lean more towards physical though, because my wizard is fun though. I you know what? I'm not gonna knock the wizard. The wizard was fun. Uh no, I jump around on all soul levels. I have no idea. So I have like a level 125, a level 80, a level 138 that l lets me invade people from 125 to like 170. I have a 150. I just go to different levels to get activity in different areas, really. There we go. Um, actually, no, we didn't go in there. Okay, let's go try the... Yeah, let's go try the volcano. <laughs> yeah, the wizard ones are fun. We're definitely going to use the wizard at some point. Tails, thank you for the membership, though, man. Ah, uh, V-Daddy, thank you, man. The Outer God, yeah. You know what? The connections have been interesting lately. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not the best. Oh, I don't actually have that. Oh, I guess I could fucking go, go at it. Is it that good of a buff, though? Uh, RZ. I haven't actually used, like, a physical... Or a spell buff, really. I could add it, though. Electrify armament. No, I didn't grab it. <laughs> I don't tend to use spell buffs because I change my sword around a lot. Or else I would for you. Um, let's go. I like the Altus area. The Lake of Rot? Oh god, that's a horrible place. Not my favorite PvP location. Ah, uh, yeah, so like in, in, I think, not most of the Souls games, I guess, but Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring for sure. Uh, there's like an, an invasion range up and down of your level. Same with your weapon level, so. Most people are gonna, you're probably gonna invade people higher level than you on average, though, because the invasion range up is quite a bit higher than down. Down is like 9%, I think, in Elden Ring, or 10%. So I can only invade down to like 78 or 77. But I can invade up uh, plus 20 of my levels and then plus 10% or something like that of my character. So I can invade like 30 or er, 28, 30 levels, I think, on this character. Hello, Knight. How are you, man? Um, okay, let's go. Let's have an ultra off. Yeah. Knight. When the Knight is darkest. Oh. That could be scary. <laughs> it stays on even after? Okay. Kya. Can't see. Bushes are not my allies.
Oh, he had the the heal one. Okay. That can probably do quite a bit of damage to me. Not as much as I thought. I'm gonna be real. I thought it'd be more than that. Oh, he does way more damage than me, though. I think he can three-shot me while I'm gonna have to, like, eight-shot him. Huh. Okay. Um... What do we want to do then? Possibly this. This will at least stagger him while he has veteran's armor. Buckler. Yeah. Fun fight though, man. I think he would have three shot me. <laughs> he would have actually. And I think I hit him with my ultra like eight times. Yeah. That's a good uh, ben like a demonstration too of like how much stronger a host can be than an invader. Because you're invading into their world, right? So you have their weapon level range, their level range. So you usually invade up. They can have higher level weapons than you. You can have rune arcs. Um, yeah. So when, when I hear people complain about invaders, it always blows my mind because they have to be new to the series to not know that. Um, let's go back down here. That's a perfect example of it, of how many times I had to hit him. Hey, Waluigi. Thank you, man. Wow, that's... I appreciate that, dude. That's crazy. That's early. Yeah, this game in particular, like, if you guys are trying to invade, it's, it's a lot harder in this game than Dark Souls 3 and the other ones because you don't really get a teammate unless the host asks for it. Um, so it's always one... It can always be 1v3, basically. So you really do need to use the environment and make your build pretty good. Um, this one? Yeah. Oh, this looks very... I actually like this area a lot. I hope it stays popular. And I also love this spear. Let's keep the spear on. Wait. Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I think his teammate also has that gold attack coming my way. Yeah. Whee. Okay, I gotta make sure to keep regen on. That's the whole like bonus of a faith build here. In fact, what weapon did they have? Ah, I don't think either of them has a really good light weapon. No. I know, it's a different build entirely. This one's more of a... That hit me through the tree. This one's more of like a faith dex build. The other lightning one was just pure dex. Okay, you know what? They have the better lightning build for the water than I do. I'm more like faith oriented here. What's the range on this? Okay, not as long as I thought. It's like my nose itches. Thank you, Levi. Uh, yeah, you know, eventually I'm going to set up like a fight club for you guys one day. Uh, but the only way I end up fighting viewers is if you guys get invaded by me. I don't just like summon uh, viewers. Then I'd spend my whole stream doing that. What the fuck? How'd that hit me from behind the wall? Dodge. Dodge. These guys are the AOE team as well. The itchy nose, dude. Sometimes... It gets Join to me. Certain streams or when you feel like it. Oh wait, shit. Oh, I'm fat rolling with the cannon. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I am not the heaviest. Thank you, man, though. A uh, Levi. Uh, yeah, but on average, I just usually invade. A lot of people have that today. It's kind of keeping me at bay. I'm not even going to lie kind of holds me off until I can get in there. I got the cannon too. Let's put this up. Hey man, Ooh, hope dodge. you're enjoying the stream. Question, are you leaving too much damage on the table by going 50 decks, um, 35 faith and 30 arcane? 
I like the spell utility, but haven't tested how it affects R. I haven't really done that, like a three stat split like that, so I couldn't really tell you effectively. Um, I've only done two at the most, so I don't know how much damage you would be lacking by doing that. That's tough to say, honestly. Maybe I really don't want to fight with their swords. <laughs> well, that's an issue for me. I don't have the best long range here. How about the cannon? Hey there. I love how he runs up and still uses the long range thing. Battle of the AoEs. <laughs> oh god, okay. I run out of FP eventually, right? Oh my, they do so much damage to me with that. Incredible. Um, I don't know, is there like a lightning defense spell? I'm thinking about getting it, man. There's been a lot of people just using that thing. Um, and they seem to have like a, an obscene amount of FP to strike with the lightning constantly. Yeah, you know, I think I'm getting them kind of low. Nope, I lied. Not getting them low yet. I could use the Drake Talisman. I don't know how effective it would be, but... There we go. We're getting into using our sword territory. Seems like the first uh, five minutes of an invasion are me dodging AoE spells. And then the follow-up after that is when the fight comes in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> nope, still has more. Okay. It gets burned like most of my Estus. I gotta be very careful here. Oh god, he still has more. Okay, at least the host doesn't hit for like 700 a strike though. That's pretty nice. I'll take that. I ran out of FP. Are you joking? That's crazy. Right on the strike too. He would have died. <laughs> Nice. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's actually the best luck I've ever seen. Oh, I haven't used my buff yet. At least we can do that. Gah! Ah ha! You hit the pole. Okay, so if there's an object obstructing the, the view. The lightning won't hit me. That's pretty huge. I'll take that. Trying to like be away from the guy with the lightning strikes view. Or just use rivers of blood. That's always an option. Dodge. Okay. What if we use some perfume in here? Still has more, huh? I don't know how you have so much FP all the time. That guy's out of FP, so he won't be a threat for like five seconds. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> dude, they have been. Is this the same lightning dude from earlier or no? I don't know. People have had so much FP these past couple invasions. I spent like the first like five minutes just dodging. And then he has the dragon breath. Wow. Insane. I guess high level phantoms don't get their FP downscaled much, huh? And yo, Bowl, thank you so much for the membership, dude. I appreciate that. But yeah, they really must not, man, because there's no way I could constantly do that. I want to see the, the Sun Bros level when we kill him. Because, like, it's obscene. Thank you. Yo, Skepion, thank you, man. And Ray Praise, you put on the Bolt Drake Talisman. Didn't I do that? I do have it on, yeah. I actually have it on right now. Yo, oh, what's up? I don't know how much it's actually saving you though. Oh my god, dude. That's so nuts. And he also does like 700 damage with it. So like, he's not missing faith, that's for sure. He's got some good faith going with that high FP. Uh, yo, thank you guys so much though. Um, I mean at this point, I'm just gonna have to do high DPS to them. And then that too? Jesus! 
Oh god. Okay, well at least there's a blue. Maybe we can kill the blue for some health. Um, where is the blue? Like, they're just like AoE city. I just need to... find the summon while they just continue to strike lightning everywhere. Yeah, lightning scales with decks, indeed. Look at them. They're just doing it even when I'm not there. <laughs> oh my god. Hunter, where are you? I don't want him to, like, surprise attack me. I want to know where he is. I don't see the blue anywhere, though. Okay. Dude, I love when blues come. Especially, well, it depends on, like, the invasion. But this one in particular... Like, I don't think they, this guy swung his sword at me. He's only hit L2 about a billion times. Huh. Hey, thank you, man. Oh, they went back here? Okay. You think he's close to out of FP? I'm actually... I'm wondering. And he's not even using the Starlight Shards. That's what's the most impressive. I think I drain them. They look like they're ready for melee combat. To some degree. <laughs> okay. I think... I think they are... Oh, no. There's still a little bit left in the tank. I think we're running them close to empty, though. Slowly but surely. They're lowering themselves. That guy's gonna lightning bolt me when I least expect it. <laughs> oh, that is not where I wanted to aim that. I knew he still had some. Oh my god, dude. How? My mans has not run out. He's still got more. How much FP does that actually cost? That's gotta cost like nothing, right? I'd love to, when I edit this, just to count how many times he did that lightning bolt strike. I'm really... I'm mind blown. I'm mind blown. It's only 10 FP. Still though. <gasps> That's still mind blowing. Like, oh god. Ah, uh, they're decent. My connections seem okay. Not the worst. The cannon? My god. They are the. They do. Oh my god, he's so dead. His over level carry's gone. And then he jumps off the cliff. Okay. <laughs> really? Alright. <laughs> GG, I guess. That was like FP the game right there, man. We need to make Ashes of War cost more. Or they need to make overleveled phantoms actually have their FP cut when they get scaled down, because that's crazy. That's insane. The amount they can just not swing a sword. Uh thank you so much though, Skepion, man. So kind. Thank you. <laughs> like crazy. Here's the tin from Quebec for the entertainment. Yo, Kaladin, thank you so much as well, dude. How's it going over there at this time of year? That guy didn't run out of juice, man. Or maybe he just did, and that's why they jumped off the cliff. But, like, my man. That's crazy. Twenty thousand souls on the orange? Hmm. I don't even know what that is. Well, hello there, boys. This is looking like a nice fight. You have weapons. I will be happy to partake in fights. <laughs> hello, you're both dual wielding, too. Does that buff your phantom? Hold up. I think it does. I think it does buff the phantom. <laughs> the jump, though, so beautiful. Bap. Oh, it's Sven. Oh, that hit the phantom. I wasn't even aiming for him, though, but okay. 
You know what? For having a buff, I was expecting that to do a lot more damage. Haha. <laughs> Tiny. You look pretty huge to me. But well, your damage looks huge. Oh boy. That escape though. So there was his real damage. Earlier he didn't hit me with it. I don't know how I missed it. It's 12. That is crazy, Josh. That needs to be toned down a bit. I 100% uh, agree. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. And C, of course. Sometimes you just gotta outweigh. Uh, you know, let's keep our Ash of War buffed right now. People that play like super long range. Got no choice sometimes. Uh oh. Oh no. Woo! Explosion! This is, it's like a Dex Faith build, but yes. Woo! Uh, this is the same character that has most of my weapons. Uh, it's my Vagabond class that I've been using to ooh, gather most of the weapons. These guys are scary in a group. He's low at damage now, though, so. Oh, game, man. It cannot lock on to whoever's closest. That's something I've learned. Like, no matter what I do, it's always the one that's far away from me. It's very difficult with the lock on situation in this. with the guy coming. Stay full health. Oh. We dodge those. Jesus. That is some damage. Ha! I separated them! Ha 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 ha! Oh, you guys fucked up. You had the pressure on together. I have to give that to you, but you messed up. <laughs> Goodbye, Sven. <laughs> the sheer panic when he was like, where'd my friend go? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> the elevator was a good play. Yo, MV, thank you so much, dude. Uh, yeah, this is one of my... Well, I'm attempting like a dex faith here. It, it'll be easier as we level up the character afterwards as well, but I wanted to see how well you could actually do dex faith at like 80 or 90. So far, it's been pretty good. Uh, not the worst. Oh, of course. Yes, everything's over faster if you use Rivers of Blood. But we like variety here. Let's try to scythe that a bit. <laughs> yeah. I think he was just trying to trade with them. He's, he does really huge damage, though, with both those halberds, I have to admit. Well, hello, game. I'll be taking this spawn. Thank you. <laughs> I love that start, though. That felt good. Scythe uh, backstabs look so cool. Hey. Moonvale end that, huh? All right, this will be an interesting one. Let's go somewhere where the trees aren't blocking my view at every point. Try and moonveil me from up. Oh, you actually can moonveil me from up there, Gandalf. Okay. All right then. Trying to outspace the moonveil. I don't know if you can do that though. Sure. Ready? Oh, he's running around. Okay. I need better like. Okay. I was gonna say, yeah, the Moonvale guy is hidden pretty well in the bushes over here. You angered the jelly! <laughs> Gandalf. 
L2 go brrr. Okay, let's take this to flat ground. Oh, the jelly actually helped me. I could carry and retaliate that, I guess, but you get hit by it, so it's not really worth it. Know what I mean? Take that, Gandalf. You like that? <laughs> you like that, Gandalf? Hey, good boy. You have a wizard up there, or else I'd be in your face. I must use the trees for cover. Fire your pews. Hit all the trees. He's firing it still through the tree. <laughs> okay, I think we can maybe kill good boy with the uh, scythe ash of war. Nice. Pop his bubble. Take that. Take 26 damage. How does that feel? Nice. Yeah, even if you try to block it with carry and retaliation, like you still get, I get hit anyway. I guess it's just my timing, but I still absorb the magic, but I, I tend to still get hit here. Like I'll try, well, in a second here. I'll show you. Uh, that was badly timed, I guess, but okay, I'll try again. See, I still get hit. And that one wasn't just like me getting hit with the blade, you know what I mean? The magic still tends to hit me. So, I don't know. Oh, you have to do it super early. Oh, okay. Nah, I still get hit. I don't think it's worth it. Personally. Like, you can do it, but you have to like predict basically. And because of that, I don't think it's the best. In my opinion. Um, let's do this. This will be really funny. Yeah, it's not worth it. Like, I have to literally use it. Like, maybe if he's far enough away, you can react parry it. But, um, when he's super close like that, it tends to hit me. So, I don't, I don't think I like it. For a moon veil, anyway. Open out of FP. This guy's moon veiling in the corner. <laughs> I feel like people at this level have more FP than people on my level 180 or 130 build. I don't know. Am I weird? Or like, is it just today? <laughs> the, amount, the amount of magic I'm, I'm getting spammed by today is quite astonishing. This guy has not figured out yet that the tree blocks the path. And that somehow still hit me. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> it's crazy today. What's going on? Everyone seems to have, like, so much Ash of Wars at the ready. <laughs> this guy's a wizard, too? Man, I gotta invest in some long-range fighting. Cause like, oh, there we go. They can't dodge spells; they can only shoot them. Hey, <laughs> Gandalf. <laughs> They're weird. Well, there you go, Gandalf. I'm playing your game now, I guess. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> he tried to turn his attack the other way. <laughs> to run. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I was gonna say, when in doubt, he'll Moonveil soon, right? <laughs> Goodbye, Gandalf. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Good boy. 
letting me backstab you like that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess I'll just prepare myself today for the wizard wars. I don't... I think it's just going to be happening. I use a PS4 controller. Uh, Flakes. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think though, like, coming from all the Souls games, like, I do have some critiques for Elden Ring, obviously, but, like, one of them is, man, the, the Ashes of War are used way too willy-nilly. <laughs> like, they need to cost more. Like, you know, Weapon Arts and Dark Souls 3 were awesome, did great damage, but you couldn't just only fight using them. And I think that was a better balance. I think they went a bit excessive with it here. Hello there, Douglas. What's up, Douglas? And a blue. Wait, I just heard a blue or someone kill something on the side over there. Oh, no. I accidentally killed the host first. Dishonor. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is that that on that? Okay. Well, GG. Uh, stocky evening chase unique weapons. Uh, yeah. Uh, choices for quality. There's only a few that I can actually think of. I know the uh, pizza cutter weapon is pretty interesting, and it's a uh, it's a quality weapon. So. Yeah, I like the I like the wacky part of it, Matt. I just I wish there was less Ash of Wars that kind of stopped you from engaging. Like they, they zone so strongly. There's lots of AOEs, and when people use them constantly, you're kind of forced to wait it out, which makes the PvP a little bit slow at the beginning of a fight. I find if the teams just do that. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't I didn't think I was gonna hit him. Man, the lock on is so weird sometimes when there's a group in front of you. I uh I tend to lock on to the wrong person. Yeah, like the Ashes of War that are like zoning ones, people just use a lot. Because obviously they do the most damage. I think that's another one of the issues. They need to make the damage on the Ashes of War lower. Like it's fine to have, like if you can have them use that much, but they need to lower the damage. Or they can keep it strong and make the cost a lot higher if they want like balanced fights. Because otherwise, why would you not be using your really strong attack constantly, you know? I get, I get where they're coming from. It just makes for a lot less engaging PvP. Yeah, like, you don't see anybody R1, because, like, I mean, I do it, because, you know, we're used to our melee combat here, and a lot of you guys probably do it as well, but for the most part, you're not really rewarded for spacing well with your damage output on, like, attacks that aren't Ashes of War. They're too weak compared, or uh, vice versa. The other ones are just too strong. Uh, do you, I play using Claw Grip? It depends on the scenario. Uh, what do we use? Honestly, this thing I feel like does not do work. This thing is better in like a, a group setting where you're the team. Yeah, with dual wield weapons, that's true. And you have to use statuses, I guess, on the physical parts to make your weapon as strong as a lot of the Ashes of War. I agree. Yo, mister, thank you so much, man. Hey, I used to watch your when you were in college, nice. In college. So you graduated. Pope, I see Chase, the floss in Times Congratulations, Square man. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot all about that, that Fortnite craze. Yo, mister, thank you so much, though, dude. I really appreciate that. I hope we get a DLC. Uh, we're definitely going to get Oh, with short swords. Short swords? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited for a DLC. I don't know where they're going to take it, what they're going to do with it, but I know it's going to have interesting weapon add-ons and areas. So I'm all for that. That is fair, Meat Boy. <laughs> I, uh, I got older, I guess. That'll happen. Whoop. Uh, the faith... Wait, wait, I missed this comment. The faith weapons are what? Are a groupie weapon? Oh, because they, they buff you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh! Here's a question. Can I do this in the air? 
No, I cannot. Okay. Interesting. So it needs ground to go around. Cool. Well, one of us is going to fall. And it's not... Well, it's both of us. To be fair, though, I hit you better than you hit me. Ah, oh, get this off my screen. I can't attack. <laughs> my roll catch. <laughs> <laughs> Gah! <laughs> GG. <laughs> I love how he went in and he did the scythe attack with me at the same time, just like a second later. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Uh, let's go to Inner Ionia, yeah. Yeah, I think the lock-on might have knocked me off right there. So funny. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm wearing like a five faith boost ring, so keep that in mind. Actually, you know what? This, this area might not be as good as the Celia one, even though they're close. Uh, no 2v2 invasions today. We had a bunch. Well, not a bunch. We had a few the other day, though. They're very rare, actually. Yeah. Uh, Annie, it's okay. I like it. Like, it, it's very fun. I think uh, as they keep balancing the game, it's going to get better and better. Uh, but I've been having a great time with it. I still think Dark Souls 3 had more balanced combat, for sure. That's 100%. But I've been having a good time. Um... Uh, the lance you get in Limgrave, but the lance. I don't have a lance <laughs> on my build, but yeah, the lance is in Limgrave. You can use Wiki to show you the exact location. They kind of have like an interactive map that'll literally show you where on the map it is. Um, This way? Yeah, let's go this way. You love the new magic mechanics. Me too. I actually liked being a wizard more in this than I have in uh, any of the Souls games. I definitely hey! have to agree. They have a lot of cool mix-ups. The sword ones are very cool. Uh, I like the slicer. So he's got the... What is that thing called again? Um, not the pebble. Oh, he didn't think that was going to hit me, did he? Holy damage, though. That definitely outdoes my damage on my spear. Pretty nuts. I hit him for like almost nothing. I might have to change weapons here. Um, yeah, I need to hit you a lot harder. <laughs> That's, I think I got hit once there, right? Or no, he hit me with the pebble. He did hit me with the pebble, so I have to give him that. That's scary. Is that a crag blade? No. That's the Stitcher. He's gonna running R2 at me. What the? What the hell just healed him? <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, we're gonna double spear this then. I have no idea how he gained like 50 HP, well not 50, but like half his HP back. These things hit a lot harder. Fun fight, man. Oh, the physic. Oh, well, maybe he was poisoned. Yeah, but usually for the physic to trigger, though, you need to lose HP. Or was his message appraised? Actually, yeah, how do message appraisals work in this, by the way? Does it full heal you, or does it, like, half? <laughs> I haven't actually wrote any messages down. I should really try that one day. Oh, message appraisal for sure. Ah. Oh, they don't do anything. Oh, I'm confused. You guys are giving me conflicting information. I can't trust you. Oh, he got Scarlet Rotted. Okay, so it, it was the Physic. All right, all right, that makes sense.
strategies just put messages down everywhere. I bet. Oh, they heal half. They do heal. Okay, okay. I'll trust the majority. You guys, like most of you just said, they, they heal. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It was probably the heal then. Because, yeah, I don't think he was Scarlet Rotted, so I don't know how his flask would have went off from nothing. Oh, they give a flask's worth of HP. Sweet. Okay. Hey, yo, tactically, that's worth it. You could be mid-invasion about to die. I got to start writing messages down, boys. Why have I not been doing this? I'm a failure. An absolute failure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need this song for this. <laughs> I was full reading the chat. Like, I wasn't even looking at the screen. <laughs> That scared the absolute shit out of me. Holy. Oh my god, dude. That scared me <laughs> so bad. Okay, we're good. Not Wendigo. This is a really annoying battleground. There's way too much in my way here. back a little bit then. There we go. Follow me if you can. This will kind of detour the wizard from attacking me. No, it will not. Definitely will not. Let's track even over. Nice. Just out of range of Stars of Ruin. Huge. They're chasing the bro. They are indeed. Okay, I need... This is why the ultra is so good. It's like my one heavy hit on my dex build. Definitely important. When there's a wizard that can constantly just cast at you. Use the corner as well. This is honestly ideal. Having an, like an object like this that I can use for cover from wizards. Huge. Very huge. Oh, Mosey's lucky. Perfect. Very, very huge. I wonder how good the Naginata would do. I was going to say, maybe the wizard went around, but he did not. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. <laughs> oh, good dodge on his part. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm actually surprised this is working so well. Natural cover against magic is nice. Oh, big boy damage. That was good. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I think he went around. <laughs> My mage tracking, you must understand, it has to be top notch wizard. Oh my ha Okay, our latency with the curve sword guy is very bad as well. He's able to like hit me from very far away. I've been noticing that. Whoop. 
come here or visit. Although I keep some kind of safe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the Nagi Kiba. Yeah. It's actually doing good damage when I do hit the Ash of War. I, uh, I hit for like 700. It's been pretty good. Like that. Wait, who's talking about? Oh. <laughs> Wendigo! Okay, I think I think the wizard is getting a little bit less a loving of my my dodging to the tent. What I wonder is when the swords do like no damage like that, what do you think is happening? Like what's causing them to do like no damage? Like phantom hits almost? Maybe? It's hard to... Oh, we're winning this war so far. It's good. Yeah, maybe. I frames on the feet. Oh, okay, but I still get stunned for it. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> They've got to be getting tired of my little my little run around here. If you tried sword stance on it or power stance with two, am I stuck on a rock? <laughs> uh oh. Am I stuck? Wait, I gotta read that for you, man. Hang on one second. I'm playing Wizard Dodge Simulator right here. I knew every time I hit him once, though, he Bloodhound steps away, so it's like I'm not gonna get a follow up. I know it. I'm just gonna have to kill him the regular way. Probably kill him with perfume next. This wizard actually has an amazing amount of FP for being able to chase me like that. Oh, interesting. You know what I have also for you? Exactly what your phantom has been doing to me. How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like it? Dodge that. Oh, I'm also out of heals, though. This wizard has so much magic. Okay, I need to not be in the open, though. I'm a sitting duck with the wizard there. We go back to our tunnel. This is... Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> You're telling me. Anytime I do really good damage to the guy with the Bloodhound step, I uh, I need to hit him once to kill him. So we're going to bring out the Katana now, I guess. It's the only way. He sort of gets one shot by it. Also, I have too many FP flasks. Just notice that. One too many. So with that, I'm going to have to... This guy also has a Bloodhound step, right? He does. Years, then and on top of that we get a little bit of regen going so the other guy dipped he doesn't want to die to me to give me flasks I don't think okay, we push the wizard off for a second that's good that shouldn't have hit me, but oof. Oh, I'm dead. Not yet, somehow. I'm gonna be dead, though. Not much I can do here anymore. Alive somehow. Oh, there we go. GG. There wasn't much I could do there, man. 
<laughs> GG though. They had way too much FP. Holy. I, remind me to switch my flask though. Here, I'll switch it so I have one more Estus. If we would have had one more, we would have won that for sure. Um, where's my thing? Um, flasks. Allocate. Yeah, for some reason I had an extra blue flask that I didn't need. They were so mad at me, bro. I could tell. <laughs> If we reinvade them, we'll win. For sure. I don't know, man. He, was, I didn't see him. Like, There's been so much FP use today. It's been mildly impressive. I have no idea how they can do that for like a 10-minute invasion. It's been a lot of my invasions as well. It's it's crazy. Um. Oh. Uh, can I live this fall? Yeah. Hello there, boys. How are you? Hello. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> oh, a blue spawn. Okay. Let's go, Mr. Blue. Um, I'll drink my buff flask. <laughs> Are they both using that at the same time? That's funny. Hey. Oh, jeez. GG, Mr. Hosty. You guys are both gravity mages. <laughs> okay. And you got an AFK blue, unfortunately. The poor wizard. They don't have enough health though when you like bring out the ultra. It's unfortunate. Uh the banished knight? Wait, Halberd or do you mean uh versus the Stitcher? It really depends. I find that the Halberd's range is very useful and its stun on its R1 is a lot higher than the Stitcher, so. Depending on what kind of range I need and how much stun. Excuse me, I try swapping to it. Soldier of Godric build. I guess I could be any NPC in the game, huh? Yo, Flakes. Thank you so much, man. Or Flakes? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Ah, uh, running and changing equipment. It just takes practice. I use my thumb to hold circle, then my, my index finger hits start, and then my thumb is also hitting X at the same time while I hold circle. Thank you. Oh, this is interesting. What is that thing called down there? Oh yeah, the ulcerated beast. Wait. Uh, I think they might be up by the boss, huh? If I spawn here. Usually they're up there. There we go. Yeah, that snake is super annoying. Game loading? Yeah, it's loading. Best area for level 70? Honestly, you can kind of go anywhere at level 70. I feel like you're able to do anything. I already fixed allocating my flask. I like having two blues. Uh, two blue uh, flasks. I don't know if this is going to work. Hmm. I think game might have froze, boys. I think. I don't know. Sometimes when you're able to interact with the game still like this, where I'm able to hit A and the menu's like this, uh, it connects. It's just 
it's having a really bad connection with whoever it's trying to connect to. So it takes a while. Yeah, this doesn't happen too much. Although it's happened last stream once. It did, yeah. No, eventually it works though, but I think it'll take too long. I'll just close the game. Um, task manager. Yeah, even when I like look on the actual task manager, it says that it, it is responding. You know, if a game, oh, see, told you. <laughs> it just takes extremely long sometimes. I don't know why. That's why I don't like those fingers, to be honest. They always cause some sort of issue for me. Unfortunate. Let's go with the tree spear today. Yeah. Oh, was, oh, you just had starlight shards. So that makes sense. Yeah, there's going to be start to be a lot of magic spam eventually with that. Yeah, I don't get too many. You know what? Since the update, I don't get too many connection errors. Uh, but the game does crash more, it seems. Also, see, thank you so much, man. Uh, my Nagi, my Naga I question. This moment to re -ask my Naga question, Lamel. Oh. Have you tried power stancing with them or using sword stance on them? Um, I've used Swords Dance on this in particular, but I have only ever like dual wielded this with the Uchi, not two of them. It's probably very good though. I find Swords Dance works, but the the poise damage isn't the best if you use it on a katana. So I like to use Swords Dance on like uh, the scythe because it goes through shields, or some of the bigger weapons like curved great swords because it actually stuns them. I also find hitting with this Ash of War very satisfying, and it does like 800 damage. It's so much more damaging than I think it should be, but it works. This spear has been a good time. Wah. Yeah, there's so much you can do with Ashes of War, honestly. This is my nightmare. I have spawned into my nightmare. <laughs> Double wizards. Oh, but they have like 70 int and no HP. Maybe. Well, this one has more HP than the host. Host does not have much health. This happens when they quit the game or they kill the boss. That's why it took too long. That makes sense. I've seen that happen from time to time. Is that a river of blood? Oh god, it's a moon veil. Oh dear lord. I'm reliving my nightmare. <laughs> yeah, good thing I have another thing to run around. <laughs> oh man, the wizards be out in full today. They do, and you know what? I might actually use the Barrier of Gold buff here. Hey! <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Um, this is why Barrier of Gold is nice. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's why I'm going to start using it, honestly. Oh, that's the wrong thing, but uh, you know, I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Almost fat rolled right there because of that. Boom. Boom. Got to dodge that magic, but... Okay, now I can... Uh, I don't even need barrier bolt. Screw it. This guy doesn't have the most HP. That fat roll almost got me knocked. Where's the other wizard? Oh, he's there. God, the frame rate killer. No. <laughs> my frames. You can't be doing that. That hurts my frame rate too much. Woo. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna lock you out of healing. Well, and everything else, I suppose. Well, that's right. 
That's right. Oh, now you don't have any more FP. We're just going to stand here menacingly. Oh, God. My brain! <laughs> okay, we're good. Alright. GG, Lauren. Thank you for the fight. Been dueling without armor and mages are a pain. I bet, man. I bet they are. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro, for the donation, though. I like how the bot even stopped reading it, though. It was like, nah, I'm done. I'm done with that. WWW. Yeah, Amir, for sure. Uh, what did I have the most success with it? On a scythe for shields, at least you get like some chip out of it. Um, and although the the uh, the ice spear is better, and on the curved great swords is pretty decent. Oh my God, you remember that, Gregoire? That happened here a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, he probably was just full magic. At that point, he should just use the slicer. It's better than the sword. I like the spear, though. What do we put with it? Let's do the spear talisman. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, it works really well, though. As long as, like, a heavier weapon is better with it, I find. And then also, yeah, the amount of poise your opponent has. Yo, Corsair, thank you so much, man. Bury the light deep within, but I'm a faith build. I can't be burying the light. I'm Dex Faith. Alan, thank you, man. Well, I'm always down for chicken, though. Yeah, it's also much faster, too, uh, with the double slash. Oh, wait, sorry. I think you said the double slash. Whatever one is the one that, like, katanas come with naturally, the Rivers of Blood. I forget the name of that one. I don't think... Is it double slash? It is double slash, yeah. That works decently on some fast weapons, but on uh, bigger weapons, it's slower, for sure. Yeah, spin slash, though, actually works with better weapons, yeah. That's why I tend to put it on the curved greatsword I have. Not in this build, but... All my strength build. I don't think I have a curved great sword on this build. I do not. Yeah. Thank you so much though, Alan. And Corsair Dev. Oh uh, yeah, raw pots could work. I think I I don't know. The lightning ones are really nice on my decks build because they scale off my decks, so. It's pretty cool. That I, I have added bonus damage from that. Maybe I'll put the raw ones on the like strength build. Or do they scale off anything? They might scale off Arcane. I could see that. Oh, oh, you know, at least I can come down here. I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Fall damage in this game always confuses me. Whee! Hello there. Hello, wizards. What do we want here? I have the, the counter damage, the wizard counter damage. I just assume it's wizards, because... What does that helm actually do, by the way? Everyone has that Moose Helm when they have any type of magic damage at all. That was cool. We didn't do the heavy. Oh, you can fully charge that one. That's awesome. I don't use the... I was going to say Stars of Ruin, but that's a different weapon. They're raining down from the heavens. <laughs> Not worth. <laughs> that seemed like I could get a nice pivot backstab there, though, but no. That was not the case. Okay, he's not very tanky at all. Fiona's, I think, not as well. They're both very, like, uh... Magic oriented? Actually, I have no idea why this guy has no health. You're a tank build, man. What?
It's got heals, but... The moose helm because fashion. Okay. Is that is that why? This is for fashion. Oh, that hit me. I want to use the scythe. Do you think they ever grow tired of casting the same thing repeatedly when you dodge it? <laughs> I've always, I've always wondered. If it didn't work the first thirty times, when's it gonna start working? My man. Why are we... Oh, no. <laughs> like, at this point, you're just kind of wasting your FP, man. <laughs> Honestly. There you go. That's a good hit. Oh, that's a good combo. They actually stunned me into each other. Oh, no. We reverted back to the... Ooh, he hits quite hard. He's doing the damage of the team for sure. Okay. Here comes the meteors. Let's buff up a little bit. Um, what do you want to go for? Let's try this. I don't know how good the buff will be. That's de that's decent. Six ten. Oh, that scared me, whatever was just behind me. <laughs> was it your little helm? Oh, they'll still spawn, huh? Even if you hit them once they make them rise up from the ground. Oh, I thought he might get roll caught by that. I have to fully charge the heavy to have it do that, okay. looked interesting. Oh no. Don't go don't go for a jog, please. Anything but that. Boop. Get our stamina regen here. Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess we'll just take the free backstab, man. That was hilarious looking, actually. Yeah, I'm using the Tree Spear. It's actually pretty cool. Depending on like what you're hitting, I feel like people have lower absorption to Holy. I've been doing some good damage sometimes, some okay damage others. There we go. Yeah, I know you can buff it with like uh, the, any buff, really. I don't have any buffs on this build. Let's try more dual wielding. The last time we fought was like a three-man team that had really high poise, so that was hard to actually use these effectively. But the tree sentinel shield. I do have that on my strength build. It wouldn't do well on my decks because you need 30 strength, so. No, not yet. Uh, there isn't one similar to Wex Dust for Dark Souls 3 yet. I'm, I'm assuming one day they'll do it. Uh, those are those the bandits? Yeah. So I've tried the bandits on the decks. They work really well. And I've tried the beast man on the strength. Beast man is pretty cool on the strength build, actually. They work well. Frostbite as well. Infuse. Uh, have I tested if it frost? Uh, you mean frostbite? No, I don't know if frostbite. I don't think frostbite gets like a a stat boost at all in water. That's something I haven't tested, but I assume it's not. I don't think I've noticed it when someone hit me with it. Yeah, faded 100%. Man, I've tried. I've tried like every soul level, so I have a level 125. I tried a 138, and honestly, a 138 got more invasions than 125 did. 
I think because it's hitting the players that are in New Game Plus at like level 160, you know? I, and what, like maybe even 170. But you also get to hit meta, so... 138 was good. I think that was like a nice... More activity, but also like fairly close to the 125 level. 140... No, it fell off hard. If you watched my 140 stream, it took forever to find an invasion. Although it worked like in some locations. This is also on PC, by the way, guys. I'm talking like the level I'm talking about is on PC. Maybe it's more active on PlayStation, but uh, 140 for me was not that active. 138 was better. Oh, I hear you there. Hey, sneaky. What are we doing? Take my buff. Let's go. Oh, bloody slash! I haven't seen that in a while. That's interesting. I think he's a bleed builder, boy. This is a weird fighting zone. Get up on the tree! Gotta say, the maps in this are at least pretty interesting. Gotta give them that. They had great map design. It is hard to fight on tree trunks sometimes, but I'll take it. Oh, he didn't fall off? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, blue, okay. Parkour. You've ever seen parkour like this? Can you guys get up here? <laughs> uh, what do we want to use? I don't think the spear is going to be that beneficial. Hey, blue! I'll come down for you. I was memeing. Can they not get on this? I was gonna say, like, actually? <laughs> this should be able to. Oh, that's a bleed curve sword. Okay, okay. Mm. Are my pellets on my hotbar? They are. Yeah. Oof. Oh, that's damaging. Very damaging. Um, no idea what's being casted at me, but that's scary. A lot of spells that I don't know off by sound yet. This guy with the sword spear? I don't know what kind of Ash of War he has on it though. That's terrifying. Don't trade into that! <laughs> don't recommend. Um, I'm gonna have to giant hunt one of them. This guy maybe? Ah, that might be bad. Is that a dragon breath? Now we're good. Oh, <laughs> he walked into it. Okay. Well, GG, boys. Hey, you know what? Using the vertical terrain to, like, kind of isolate them for a second, pretty helpful. That was an interesting fight, actually. <laughs> the double. Yo, no. Thank you so much, man. Climbing on the environment Climbing is the rewarding environment behavior. Is rewardable behavior. Thank you. Thank you for doing it that. It works. Please it works. more trees and rocks. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of isolates people. It can be useful. Yo, David. Thank you, man. Two for one special, for sure. I can't believe that guy got up there in time to get hit by it. It's perfect. That's why Giant Hunt is always beautiful on every Ultra. I don't care. I put it on my Dex build. So nice. So nice. Yeah, I have tried using the, uh, well, the Black Knife Dagger. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it, it hits people regardless of if they, uh... Two for one special. No! If they dodge, it's kind of annoying. I hope they fix that, because that's been used on me in, like, 3v1s, and it's annoying. So I can't deny it. But it has been useful. It does hit some people in their iframes, like, who are Bloodhound stepping as well. Go! Wait, why are you alone, sir? David, thank you, man. We can have a fight in here, though. Let's go. Wah. My golden spear. Jump attack. It's kind of sad that you can't get a... Man, a backstab would be beautiful every now and then. I would love it. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Decent crit, I guess. A thousand on a spear. Fun fight, man. the air like the 604 yeah it only goes up like 50 or 60 from the buff this is a chunk of fp as well how do you do that you guys are missing the wet blades if you don't have the ability to choose whatever uh infusion you want on your ash of war look up the wet blades on elden ring 
Because uh, any physical Ash of War, or sorry, any elemental Ash of War can become a physical scaling. Same with any physical. Like, if you have a, a magic Ash of War, like, like Glintstone Pebble, you can make the weapon heavy still. You guys are just missing the blade that lets you do that. Cure. I could use grease. I don't know. I just forget to in this game, to be honest. A lot of the... Well, I can't grease like this. Like, anything lightning infused, you can't use a grease on. And I tend to jump around my weapons from physical to cold to lightning to keen. Depends on the weapon that I'm using, but... Have I seen the Gons as an Elden Ring video? I have not. No. I have not. Have you seen Gonzo's Melder Ring video? Thank it you so much, though, feelings. Blue. Uh, I'll have to look it up and hear about it. Yeah, you know what? I haven't used Square Off, but it's not very good at guard breaking. I tested that in the network test. I don't think I've tested it since the game came out, but I doubt... Uh, I doubt that it works well. It could. Best spear in your opinion? I'd say there's a best spear for each build. Uh, I wouldn't say there's overall a best spear. Oh, let's use some more of the scythe. It's pretty fun. Like on an int build, I would say the Claimant's Harpoon is a good spear. You know, if you're going for a bleed build, the Nagi Nazis are crazy. Uh, strength build, the pikes. I feel like there's a spear for each build. But yeah, cross Nagi Nod is a great. No matter what, I guess, because their damage is a little bit higher than most. But on a strength build, I prefer the pikes. They have better uh, strength scaling. Oh, I'm this way. Oh, jeez. They could be... Nowhere near the spawn. Oh... Um... Uh, Bolt of Grand Sax is pretty cool, actually. It must be below, right? I'm assuming. Let's give the finger one attempt. Hey, what's up, Rusty? How goes your day? Nice, just. What did you get, man? Spike Spear. I like the Spike Spear as well. I use that in, like, conjunction with another Bleed Spear if I want to try a Bleed build, right? But, uh, for most... I don't know. I don't know if that'd be decent on a lot of the other builds. Are they by the boss? That's possible. Oh yeah, they have to be. Thank you. Hey Chase, hope you're well. Just uh, this character is 85 with the plus seven somber great. weapon. What room level and Hello what boys. Level are you at today? Hello. I have a scythe. You have a bow. Are those the bows that knock you back? Oh, you know what? You don't actually see that much. That you see, though. That you see a lot of. Oh. Bleed. Oh, God. Honestly, the moon veil in this area is kind of scary. Until he runs out of FP. Then it's not so bad. Oh my god, was that actually R1s? Did I just land R1s? <laughs> so rare! Okay, I need something with really big damage because they're kind of just in my face right now. Is this Moonveil charged? Is it locked and loaded? Oh, he rolled by it. No, that's unfortunate. What is that bow? Do wield the katana. 
I didn't drink my buff flask, did I? No. Ow. I brought back up the moon veil. Oh, that was good damage. Jeez. Probably just as much as that moon veil is going to do to me, honestly. Oh, he rolled out of that. Oh, if that would have been the perfect trade, he would have died, but that ain't going my way today. Dodge the moon veil. All right, I'm gonna have to play this super carefully. Um, we're low on FP. No, I'm decent on FP. Hang on a second here. Get this going. I want everything else. I need something faster. Oh, physical defense. Okay, they want to keep me in a small space. Yo, cheers. Thank you so much, man. They even have like a bow set up for this. Oh, he's a little laggy. That's why some of this has been hard to actually catch him with. Um, if I can isolate the phantom down here, it will work. Look at all these bows set up. Maybe we can frostbite him. That might be the only way here. Actually, you know what? I wonder how much my urn does to him. Ooh, good damage is the answer. That does more damage than my weapons. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, they don't arc up as much as they used to. Hit him in the face, though. <laughs> that was a good throw. The lightning runs used to arc a little bit better, I find. I knew he was going to fog wall me when the cheesing wasn't working. Ha! Oh my god, dude. People today, man. The camp a small area, and when they're about to lose... If I go out, they quit out. There's been two teams like that today. <laughs> wow. That's actually kind of funny. Oh, hang on a second, guys. I'll get rid of the... Boom. I gotcha. I am good today. Testing out some Dex Faith weapons. This is actually... I'm going to use the Black Knife more for finishes. I got to remember to use it. <laughs> Maidenless. <laughs> exactly, Reaper. Maidenless behavior. Oh, does it? Wait, the Magma Worm uh, Curve Greatsword, Andrew? Yeah, I haven't tried that out yet. That's more of a Strength Faith weapon, I guess. There you go. Yeah, the Black Knife needs some more love. That's right. It's just not very good as like an actual fighting weapon, I find. The Ash of War is just uh, the best part about it. Because it's got a good scaling index, man. It's got decent scaling. Pretty good damage for an Ultra on a dex build. Uh, well, I like my builds at like 125 to 138, but 80 is much faster for sure when you get invasions. Um, no, oh, this way. Let's start. Let's just do this prior. I don't know what I'm walking into. Thank you so much, though, Andrew, man. I appreciate it. Oh, hello, Drift. Damn it. Test damage, then fight? Oh. Okay, what do you want to test? You want to hit me with that? I'll let you hit me with that. Good. Okay. 
that's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, here, let me let me let me test this. About the same. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Heal up. <laughs> let's have a fight now. I wonder what one did more damage in total out of the numbers, though. I couldn't tell you. This is called face trading. It's a very rare thing in Elden Ring. <laughs> but <laughs> sometimes you come upon those battles where the dodge button is never touched. <laughs> we just both are one. The good old days. <laughs> that, what a bro. What a bro. Very fun, actually. I haven't had one of those in a while. Let's go to the underground area. Let's go to the, uh... Circleless for cowards. Where I come from, we press B. No. PlayStation 4 controller all the way. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. Yo, base player, that's awesome, man. That was really good damage on the, the ultra, actually. I think it was more than mine. Makes sense, though. I'm a dex build. What did I just see? Oh my god! Hi there! Fudge! <laughs> no! <laughs> my potential meme lost because I'm a failure and I didn't have it ready to go. Oh well. Um, how can I? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can just go down, right? Down and then up, yeah. No! I didn't have the thing I worked. <laughs> I'm a failure. Ah, surprise attack! <laughs> Whoa! That did abnormal amounts of damage. Oh shit. <laughs> Does that seem like a good way to, you know, do it? Hey, he's gonna come back into me, right? Alright, two weird weapons. Bike spear versus the red pole blade. Jumping attack! Oh, you have a teammate. Oh no, that's not a teammate. That's a gargoyle. Sorry, you, you take care of him. No, no, survive, survive, I believe in you. I shall show you the stats, man. I'm um, here. This gargoyle's in my way anyway, so. Well, sorry, my flask gave me 10 more decks than I should have. Uh, yeah. I have 10 less decks than this. I have 37. Because I was just trying to try out all the faith weapons as well. Damn. That Ash of War is crazy, actually. I think out of all things, that AoE is nuts. Oh, he lived. Watching you has inspired me to do invasions. <laughs> That's very much damage, actually. I tried to traumatize people in a white mask, cosplay slash bed. Keep up the good content. Yo, thank you so much, Brandon. I'm glad you've been enjoying the invasions in this. I, I didn't really try out much PvP in Dark Souls 2, but yeah, I loved all the Souls games, so I'm with you. Thank you, man. That was weird. It did 200 damage, right? Uh, yeah, here you go again, Andy, by the way. Oh, Andrew, sorry. That is the stats. These are the correct... Oh, nope. Yep, those are the correct stats, yeah. Did the Imp hit him instead of my Ash of War? I don't know, man. Didn't seem like it. It was a strange happening. Uh, let's go for another one of these. Oh, nice, man. Thank you so much, Just. I'm glad you enjoy it. Did you just get it done? Like, today? <laughs> uh, if I recall, they can scale greases. Yeah, some of them do scale. Actually, the sleep one might be useful to use. I remember fighting a guy who used the sleep one, and it was very useful. 
Uh, Igor, I've been watching your videos and streams for four years, man. That's basically all the time I've been streaming. I'm gonna be honest, that's like when I started like streaming a lot. Thank you so much, man. Uh, thanks for all the amazing Dark Souls Elden Ring content. Thank you, man. Thank Nightly you. binges. I also watch I streams when I sleep. Anybody else with me? Also, have you tried yeah, you don't have to like fully pay attention, sword. but we'll you get to watch the combat. Home. It's if pretty I awesome. Call, they can scale graces. There we go. Um, let's I've go been here. watching your videos and streams for over four years and never got to give back. Thank you so Thanks much, for Igor. All the amazing DS slash ER nightly binges chase my bro. There we go. Uh, I mean, 200 is gonna get like no invasions in my opinion. It really started to slow down when I tried 150. 138 was pretty optimal. You got 125 players. You got like 150 and maybe people who like slightly over level the 160 players. So. It seemed better than the level 140 and 150 invasions to me. And then you have 80 and 90 that are just like pretty good everywhere. Um, I don't know. There's, uh, you don't get Limgrave though. Does anybody know what level Limgrave is good at? Because I never get to do Limgrave invasions. Kind of sad. And No, not level 30 by the way. Like like higher level. Like, you know, above level. Like starting level for Limgrave. I don't know what level that is. 25 35 yeah 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 i know that uh but like uh after new game plus i wonder what most people are there 100 for limgrave worked for you really sweaty hmm. you get limgrave at 125 okay i wasn't getting much when i tried but i guess it could have just been the time of day i tried on my 138 i got some but mostly in the uh like i tried a Gil lake I tried up near the gate front storm shack, nothing really, but I got a few like uh, down by the Weeping Peninsula and I got a few in the east side, which is interesting. I, I try not to have invade here as well. Where is it? Uh, here, just because people sit on top of that. I don't feel like just cannon firing at an AFK guy for like 20 minutes. Oh, this way. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I actually have to do an arcane strength build. That's like one of the builds I haven't tried yet. Uh, not this character, Tom. I have a character named Sukiko, though. No, I just like the name. Oh, okay. Halith. That's a pretty interesting build you got going on there. Bigger check. <laughs> That's all I think about when I see that now. Bap. Do you think using the uh, uh, yeah the Ash of War after you madness proc them is bad or? Let's see. Well, I think this is gonna kill them regardless. But I did that before and it only did like 200 damage. Fun fight, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, 280 would be tough, man. Uh, I think the rare amount of people start leveling that high. After like a new game plus game, like playthrough, they'll probably want to get into like PvP, so they'll probably stay in the like active level ranges. Um, I want to get some more in this area. I never get any in the forest here. Yeah, I think charged R2 is the way to go as well, Quebble, from all my tests. Yeah, Kaelid works well. I, I go to Kaelid a lot. Kaelid a lot. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm holding the claymore. <laughs> I was like, wait, this thing gets a crouch poke? No. It gets a crouch slash. I think these things have basically the same moveset, huh? Yeah, maybe they get hit by the, like, uh, explosion hitbox and it sends them flying because they're in the madness state. I could see that. That might be why. Yo, have a good day, Drift. Enjoy your night, man. Well, evening, night. Please go to the trumpet capital. Okay, we'll go there next. Actually, I think my invasion just failed, so we can go there now. Screw it. Yeah, it does have a really unique art team. It has the double poke. 
I got a few kills with that today, actually. Not even gonna deny. It was useful. Trumpet capital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta appreciate their little toots. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I never really stood next to that one. The almighty one. Oh, I thought you meant the, the, the horn blower, dude. Hello, Wilbert. Hello, man. Uh, I need my buff. Oh, boy. You got company, Wilbert. I see. Well, this wizard's behind me, isn't there? Nee, 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 nee. You staggered him, Wilbert. Is that a night wizard? I fear the night wizard. Oh, that would have been such a cool trade if it would have worked. Bat. It's funny when you like smack someone with a spear. Just get smacked. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're going dragon rod, are we? Okay. Ha <laughs> tactical. Okay, we gotta go by. And I need to remove the scarlet rot from my life. Yo, Andrew, thank you so much, man. Right? Yeah, that's all it takes. You know, people play Souls games, and they just like when they get invaded at first. But the more you play, oh, the wizard just died on his own. The more you play, the more engaging you find the online. Ow. Fun fight though, boys. What happened to the other phantom? That was weird. And then the more you get into it. Uh, I think the Dark Moon Greatsword is okay with a teammate. <laughs> I fought a teammate earlier and he was just kind of using the R2s while one of his teammates fought me. Alone though, I've it's just a greatsword. It's like Bleed not the though. best moveset. Highly recommend. A okay hand. Yeah, the only poison I've tried, uh, Pinoy, is the, uh, the Anspers. They're poison, I guess, when I infused them and then I had Scarlet Rot. They were okay. Uh, do I go to the gym in the evening or the morning? <laughs> Pretty late at night, if I'm being honest with you. I cannot work out when I wake up like that. My lifts will suffer heavily. I'm a, I'm a night gym goer. And it's empty, man. You go to the gym at 10 p.m.? Oh, not waiting for anything. Squat racks open, bench press set. What else is... Yeah, those are always just a wait time for me if I go midday at like 4 p.m. And I don't wake up early, so I can't like go early. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's the test damage dude again. Let's go. Yeah, it is, Dennis. I just keep doing the body or the actual actual war buff. Yeah, same with the health and steeple. Meh. It's okay. Sash of War isn't, again, the best. What are we testing out now, man? You got any other, uh, or you just want a, reg a regular fight? Like a greatsword fight? Ooh, okay. Claymore fight? Oh, you want to test that? Okay. Test it. Pretty good. Like, what? 1,040 damage? Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, I don't really have anything I need to test on you. We could just have a fight. Um, yeah. Guess I'll fight. I'll just, I'll buff up first. Let's do it. Yeah. Tracking on the R2 is, it's good. It can be very good, I guess, but... Nice. Ah, uh, man, I appreciate that attempt. An attempt was made for a backstab. Greatswords are so hard to do that on, man. Like, as much as I try. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Random blue. It's okay. We can have, like, a war. 
That's fine. <laughs> uh, freaking blues. Coming out of nowhere to scare the hell out of me. <laughs> I wasn't prepared mentally for that. Oh wait. Oh, you have another invader behind you. Oh, our first 2v2. <laughs> the blue though. Ah! Red, don't fucking sacrifice me. Red! Red! Red, get away. Jesus, I'll let him fight that. That man had no regard for my life. Dishonest pewing of the moon veil in my face. I'm not helping him. He deserves the death he gets. In fact... Okay, I won't kill him. You were testing me. Moonvale, dude. <laughs> Dishonest. <laughs> I know he's out of stamina and he's trying to aggress. There we go. Okay. That's what you deserve, Moonvale, man. That is what you deserve. Okay, let's try dual wielding. That's what he deserves, man. That's what he deserves. Am um, I heavy rolling like this? No, okay. Let's do it. Ah, jumping L1. Does that combo? It does. So what is that? Jeez. This can hurt. This can actually hurt. I, I haven't really had much luck with the dual wielding, to be honest. Fun fight, man. Although, I, did, I wasn't sure if it worked with Storm Stomp or... Uh, I was gonna give it the yell, but this actually gets me a combo. That's nice. Tried that with most things now. You know what actually is craziest with Storm Stomp that I've tested, by the way? GG, bro, Maxis. That was good, man. That was good. Uh, I don't have it on this build, but if you guys have the Beast Man uh, Cleaver, dude, so good with the Storm Stomp. You get an R2 on like an 800 AR weapon. It's kind of crazy. I think that's the most damage I've done with uh, Storm Stomp is the Beastman Cleaver. Yo, Adrian, thank you so much, man. Wait, what does it say? How much can you squat? My comfy squat is three, no, 315 if I'm just going like for my five by five. Uh, I had my ACL recover, I had my ACL surgery about two years before I got into lifting. So I've always been like a little cautious with my squat, uh, but that one's comfy for me. Let's see, where are we going? Outer wall, this way? Let's go this way. Thank you, man, Adrian. I'm pretty cautious with my left knee. <laughs> so I, I don't go like extremely heavy for my like three by threes for squats just because of that. But I stopped to keep the strength up on them because I free running, you know? Can't get top heavy ever. Running strength build, no. <laughs> if I wasn't afraid, I'd go heavier with it. How'd I rip my ACL free running? I uh, I don't know if you guys know what it is, but uh, like a cart full is kind of like a cart wheel into like a, a full kind of like front flip, side flip kind of thing. Best way to explain it. Uh, and I landed with my leg kind of bending as I was landing while I was rotating. So that, that did it. And I didn't know I tore my ACL at the point. Uh, when I went to the doctors, you want to know what they did for me? They told me to push forward with my leg, like just to like kick against their hand. And they're like, okay, probably just bruising. So for like a year and a half, I'm like free running. I'm working out with a torn ACL. And honestly, it didn't hurt all the time. Just if I landed with like a hyperextended leg, like too straight, you know what I mean? Then I'll, I would like damage it more and more. Uh, so... It got really bad, and then after that, they gave me an MRI, and they were like, Oh yeah, your ACL's kind of gone. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? But yeah, so, yeah, that was, that was my one big surgery experience, I guess. Yeah, basically, I probably kept tearing it more and more, and like, they had to kind of like, shave down some of the meniscus, uh, from what I remember, when they explained the surgery to me. So, that was interesting. But it's been good since then. <laughs> I'm just a little cautious with it, that's all. No pain, no gain. Yeah, I really thought that like every time I hyperextended and landed, it was just like 
I don't even know what I was thinking back then. I was like 18 to 20 though when that was happening, so. Fun fight though, boys. Sorry. I was on my ACL rant. Other than that, been pretty good. Yeah, I haven't had too many injuries. Um, I think Landell Master is. I think Landell is my 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 home. Yeah, but my bench is uh, 275, so it's kind of close. Like, it, it would be better if my squat was a lot better. You know what I mean? They're very close because of that. <laughs> I'm not cautious at all with my bench. I could give a shit. But. Uh, do I do more parkour or tricking? I guess it'd be closer to tricking. If I had to explain the things that I like. Yeah, but 275 I do 3x3. Three three. I don't I don't I don't really go for one rep maxes. Not on anything. Because I don't have a gym buddy, so I don't have a spotter. Not down. Not down to be that guy in the gym that's just kinda stuck there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> just uh, someone <laughs> That's never happened to me and I don't want it to happen to me. I am not down. Yeah, I don't really go on that either. I don't go super heavy on the deadlifts. If I do any type of deadlifts, uh, they're never like anywhere near my max rep range like that. Ah, uh, let's see. Thank you. <laughs> You're funny, Timbo. <laughs> You're funny, man. Thank you. Lovable sword ahead. Thank you so much, though, Andrew. Simply push. Exactly. Just push. Them. No. That's fine. I'm pretty smart about what I do. After you get like an injury, you're kind of cautious about it. I went so like heavy on not hurting my knee again that like I make sure I land on my right leg first on my flips. You know what I mean? Kind of like walk out of them instead of landing both feet. Uh, any halo sight? Yeah, we could do some halo sight thing. Let's go. Yeah, you know, if you guys are, like, looking to up your bench, I'd say the 225 point is, like, the point where you're, like, fuck. Like, it's, it starts to get very heavy from there. Like, I don't even remember, like, how long it took me to go from 225 to 275, but it was in the years. I didn't do that in, like, one year period. You know, just slowly keep your reps. I like doing five. Five reps is, like, a nice in-between. You can go six to eight for, like, hypertrophy, but, uh... I like five for like an in between between power reps and like hypertrophy. That's how I up my bench. Oops. Robbie, let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, right now, though, no, I'm not like trying to increase anything. I'm literally just doing a push pull leg routine. I have like uh, a heavy day for each of my workouts, like push pull legs and then the next push pull leg I do more like hypertrophy a little lower on the weight a little higher reps basically what I've been doing hello there Robbie how are you man let's go is that a moon veil let's try this out send the discs send them go L2 the video game <laughs> L2 honestly <laughs> Why did that do? Okay. <laughs> I'm a little displeased at how well that did. Okay, the corridor not good with the wizard though. Oh man, okay. Woo! Maybe I should invest in the barrier of gold that I have on my build. Yeah. Hey there. Oh, what? what? When you buff with barrier of gold, you get this? On an enemy? Bruh. Okay. That's pretty good. That's not half bad. Oh, they were waiting for an ambush. Hey. You can buff friendly enemies like that? Cool. Yo, wizards mean nothing here. Oh, God. Actually, that makes a huge difference in how much damage I take. Excuse me. Really? It really does. Buff the enemies, yeah. 
Hmm, what, what other buffs are like that? They don't seem to want to get close to me, and I, I know they're waiting. Does this have the range to do this? Of course it does. It's lightning, it has all the range. Damn, that's awesome, Adrian, dude. Congrats, man. It's always nice, especially with our gyms here. They were closed, like, off and on for, like, two years. So, whoa. I've just been basically maintaining, not trying to, like, increase my lifts. Just keep them steady while dieting kind of well now. Moon Veil. You. You Veil. Oh, wait, what am I? I'm poisoned yet. I, maybe. Can you buff a field boss, boys? Probably, huh? Dishonest. I need a nice cannon shot. Shit. I'm getting hit by those rocks. Yeah, that was the trade-off there. I chose. I chose. Oh wait, I have an idea. Did I hit? No. Ah, I'm going back over there. You can buff the Erd Tree avatars? Oh my god, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually nuts. Oh, we got this way. Hey, hey boys, <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Can you buff the Draconic Tree Sentinel? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Man, I might go up and around, they're kind of just camping that ladder, that's not going to go well for me. Yeah. We have other ways of getting there. You know what they changed in Elden Ring from Dark Souls 3 as well? When you get up to the top of the ladder, uh, you cannot, well you have to do, sorry, you do not have iframes, like when you're uh, climbing up here. Like at the top, you used to have like invincibility frames and now you do, you don't, which is rough. So when people camp a ladder, they can hit you during that whole animation. Oh, wait, you're right. Oh, no, 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 I know how I can get there. It's okay. It is a journey, but... Yeah, you do, you do have the poise. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. I think they know I can come this way. Actually, wait. Oh. That's over there? What is he doing? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I was a little bit confused. Of course, <laughs> I land that. <laughs> oh, that's gold. That's good. <laughs> I can get over there though. Yes. That was funny. He wasn't expecting the good old cannon. Use the finger for max confusion. Yeah, I'll keep shooting from around different areas. Is there any way to get where they are other than up that ladder? I really thought there was. Maybe I'm wrong. I 
I'd have to go from the outside. Oh, hang on a second. Please don't break these barrels. We found a spot! <laughs> nice! Nice, this works. We have a great vantage point from up here. Oh! <laughs> We're zoning him with the cannon. No! No! Why is it that? What a world, what a world. Wait. Oh. Okay. It's okay. All is good. <laughs> Not you, table. Oh! <laughs> Through the castle hole. <laughs> yeah. As if that worked. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, you better come fight me. Are you tired of getting sniped? <laughs> I bet you are. You didn't. Yeah, but your your host is still over there. You don't think I forgot about him, do you? <laughs> Hang on. We have other we have other people we can snipe now. Where did the sun bro come from? Over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, he will. Sneaky. Oh wait, no, what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh yes, he's poisoned. Optimal. <laughs> Yo, I'm liking this cannon, dude. We're doing good with it. I might win this whole invasion with just a cannon, depending on uh, how the rest of it goes. This poor guy. The great cannon invasion. <laughs> Hang on, we can, we can reposition a little bit here. Oh, they're falling back. Why are we falling back, boys? Oh, they're not, they're not. I have no idea where I am, I think. <laughs> are they over there? I think they are over there. Maybe we can reposition. I think, I think it's time we reposition. We get over there and we can snipe them there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I use all my bolts. 100%. It's too funny not to. At this point, I'm like fully committed to the cannon. Just gonna have to make a strength build for the cannon, right? Oh, they're over there now. They're over there. I don't know if they know where I am yet. No, they don't. They don't. Shh. Shh. We will torment them more. Hang on. 
Damn, that wall's gonna be an issue, I think. Thank you. My buff and mob spell keeps getting no! first. Could you be tempted into doing a stream where you literally just buff and assess the mobs? XP. That could be interesting, actually. I've never tried that. <laughs> Look at them rolling! <laughs> they have no idea where I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, shit. Shit, no. My position. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> My eyes water so bad right now. I want them to kind of come to where I am. Wait, they're actually in a dead end. They can't get me. But yeah, I definitely will try out more buffs in the... Oh! On the build. Where did he fire that from? The sun bros over here. But, oh, they're both over there. <laughs> uh, where's this teammate at? <laughs> He's like, hurry, hurry, I can only survive so long <laughs> with the cannon. <laughs> Shutting no, ah! on! <laughs> no, the sun bro returned home! <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much, Din. Hang on, let me just finish this guy off and then we'll go read that. Wait. Wait. Did he quit out? Did we actually make someone quit out? Oh no, he didn't. I was gonna say, did I make him quit out with a cannon only? That'd be, uh, that'd be new for me. What? <laughs> hey, you think I'm letting you kill me after all this work? You're crazy. <laughs> Goodbye, Robbie. I'll be seeing you, man. I'll take off the helm just for that moment. <laughs> oh my god, dude. So good, actually. What in the hell? GG, though. <laughs> GG. <laughs> uh, we take those. We take those. I'm very proud of that. It's all good. <laughs> that was fun. A very, very fun invasion. For sure. Best invasion <laughs> Only cannon shots. Oh wait, we might have started. Oh, I was talking a lot at the beginning of that. That doesn't count. That was basically an all cannon invasion. That's fair. It was glorious. <laughs> uh, you should try an ancient dragon's lightning strike when you make your faith character. Yeah, I haven't done. Well, I've done like a faith build, but never like a pure faith with the incantation. So, still working on that character. Just been reallocating my Vagabond in the meantime. This is canon now. Oh my god. True. It's canon. Thank you. That was actually fun. We had them look in every direction. We were moving around. Our repositioning was good. That was funny. For cannon compilations, that's definitely something I will try for more. I'm on my dex build too, so it's not even like the best, but it worked. Thank you, True Flame, by the way. Also, yeah, I missed your thing, Din. Uh, best waifu, Millicent or Melina? Thank you again, man. Um, I don't know. I think I like Melina. I think I'm down. If it, I guess, I don't know. Millicent's cool, though. They're both cool. That's tough. But Melon is with you throughout the whole journey, you know? Like, she she's there for you. Uh, and also, what else did you say? Uh, which is your favorite somber dex faith weapon so far? Um, probably the tree spear. Oh, wait, that's not a somber. Damn. 
It's weird. It's not a somber upgrade, but it also has a locked in Ash of War. Hmm. <laughs> exactly, Pinoy. That's the way it seems. She's loyal. She's there with you, you know. She levels you up when no one believes in you. Why am I heavy rolling? What? Oh, my stupid claw mark seal. Ah. Ha ha, he can't hit a moving target. Um, no rounds. Oh god. Shall we come in here and, you know, do what they do to this poor guy? Why am I locked onto the one that I can't hit? You dare challenge me, Prince Charming, to an L2 off? <laughs> I'll have you know, I majored in L2s. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Ronnie ending for the win, though. I took that ending in my first playthrough as well. L2, the video game. That's true. I only have a, I only started recently taking up the L2 school. Before that, it was all backstabs. <laughs> I've learned the way of the L2. I wrote my doctorate thesis in L2s. <laughs> exactly. It's amazing. Yo, Colin, thank you, man. Have I tried the short bow uh, cannon glitch yet? No, isn't it only with uh, the crossbow? Sorry. I don't think I've seen the one with the short bow. Oh, what do you think about madness? Um, well, they did tone it down to where you can't get one sniped, it seems, with the madness beam. So I'm thankful for that. But I think as a whole, I mean, in all of the Souls games, I've always said this. I wish that you didn't build up stat on a roll. It's like when you're rolling and someone hits you in between your roll, it still builds up the stat buildup, which is annoying in Dark Souls 3 because the person using the stat build kind of gets cheated if you roll their status proc, then they take no damage. But in Elden Ring, the person getting hit by the stat proc gets cheated because they dodge, and they're still stunned by the bleed or the madness, uh, and everything still procs. So they really need to fix that. I think I think it would help both builds. You know, they wouldn't get false uh, loss of damage on that roll and they wouldn't get build up on the roll. It would be beneficial for everyone. I don't know if they'll ever do that <laughs> saying that now, but uh, yeah, that'd be ideal. Uh, yeah, but that, then it kind of makes them worse though, Timbo, because then you could dodge their damage, right? Like then you can just like dodge their bleed proc. I don't know. I think the, the buildup shouldn't be there at all. You're dodging the attack. Then you wouldn't be able to easily just dodge a person's bleed buildup when it's close to being proc, you know, then it's dangerous to get hit. I think that's, personally, I think that's better. Yeah, I don't know if they can fix that, but that'd be cool. You do that to dodge the damage, but like, uh, for example, if I do madness build up Jake, they get stunned in the madness animation. So if I'm running attacking and they're dodging properly, they still will eventually get caught by the stat proc and do the madness animation where they're sitting there and I get a really hard hit off for free. So uh, I still think they need to fix that. Yeah, some of them, it's not a huge problem. Uh, but Madness. Madness, I guess, is one of the stronger ones for that reason. Same with Bleed, though. Bleed does stun you nowhere near as long, but like in a, like a team situation, you get stunned. You can kind of die because of that. Oh, does the Madness one actually still hurt when it procs? I, I don't think I've had Madness procs on me during a roll, so I don't know. But yeah, sleep will put you to sleep in the animation as well. Yeah, oh, so the Madness one still gets the, the FP drain even if you roll it, huh? Yeah, I only ever used it. I never really had it proc on a roll yet. I've died to that sniper one-shot beam though in the past. <laughs> exactly, Rob. Thank you, man. That is our doctorate now. Now we're learning L2 theory. Yeah, there's not very many sleep weapons. You're right. Actually, let's go. What's this? Oh, yeah. I know what this is. After his stint in Bumhinders Anonymous, 
Chase went to college for his degree. Yeah, backstep R1. It's a little bit different than like running R1 and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if I find it useful. Maybe. Uh, the only way that I could see it being used is like a, a reverse backstep, like out of a roll or something, and you get the. Or you can just reverse backstep and do it. Per like, it's hard to dodge, like, this is what I'm saying, I guess. Like, doing that is fine. Thank you, Mao, man. Uh, I appreciate that, though. Dual halberds? I don't know if I... I do. Do I have the weight load to hold them, though? What did I just do? <laughs> oh, yeah. I am... Oh, I'm medium rolling like this. Okay. I thought I'd be heavy rolling. Yeah, they have, like, a double... Yeah, they're very interesting as a moveset, dual halberds. Scythes as well. It's the scythes. Okay, the, the scythes, I mean, they look cool, but I think they look like, identical to the halberds. <laughs> hey, it's test damage. Hey. Scythe crouch out one? Yeah, it looks cool. You know, we'll try this. Screw it. I don't do this much. Not even is my Ash of War. Okay, where am I? Yeah, the dual halberds get like a good roll catch, I guess. But like, I don't know. They're not my favorite either. Hard to explain why. Uh, I think it, well, it has better scaling titan. So I think the higher level strength you go, like with your strength, eventually it'll catch up. I think... I think it's close at like 70 strength. I don't know if it ever passes it. I haven't done like a test like that. Hey. Hello there, test damage. Do you want to test that one? You go ahead and you test it. Or do you want to just fight? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Let's just, let's just do a fight then. Oh, you want to backstab me? Ah. Ah, not bad. Although, I feel like backstabs definitely got a little bit worse. Since it's Dark Souls 3 for their damage, even. Uh, okay, let's go. Double Scythe! <laughs> Something I don't rock much. That was pretty cool. Gotta hand that to that. That's pretty awesome. So they don't, like, roll catch perfectly. They have an interesting running attack, I guess. Fun fight, man. Very fun fight. They're they're good-ish. This seems like almost roll. If you walked forward more with this, you'd probably roll catch more with this. But yeah, Swords Dance is strong, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting. The Grim Reaper build, yeah, it could be something. Play around with that more. Um. The, I feel like the Magma Whip is better for, like, more of a Faith build. Mine's more of a Dex build. Like, it's it's Dex Faith, but, like, more Dex leaning. And then, like, there's certain weapons that do better, more Faith leaning. So you'd have to do the build more like that. <laughs> cinnamon roll catch? I would like a cinnamon roll. Dude, the Vigor roll guy was hilarious. <laughs> I actually was surprised. I had, like, 20... What? 2200 HP or 2100 HP when he did that? Pretty insane that it can actually one-shot. Do more of the scything around. Uh, are magma whips more strength leaning? Or sorry, magma whips or magma curve swords? Oh, the whips. Hello, Krecky. Hello. Um. I shoot a blade at ye. That marks the beginning of the fight. That's only fair. You know, I've been seeing that Ash of War more. Want to make a video on that or something? Hey, look, it's the Madness Beam. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. I'm going to be honest. Faith with that hammer, though. That's interesting. I've never seen a Faith build with that hammer. Golden Guardian, wait. I still don't know the spawn points of blues. Ah. <laughs> so, I feel like eventually I'm just going to get uh, comboed. 
from behind. Like, this is a weird thing where like spells look like they hit me, but I don't take any damage sometimes. And then other times I get hit. <laughs> it's been interesting. I might go off the cliff. Nope, we made the best out of that situation. Lightning urn! Lightning urn number two! Light oh, I hit the host. Nice. Lightning urn number three. I got hit. <laughs> Alright, let's buff ourselves up a little bit. I find these sites not the best in outnumbered scenarios from my testing. Oh, I think that would have hit that guy if I wouldn't have hit the pole right there. Why would a brave blue? Brave blue. <laughs> well, that goes pretty far. Brave blue is what I meant to say. Hey, I got my ultra. That's what you've been trying to do, Mr. Blue. Wow! That's so much stamina. You didn't get card broken from that. Mildly impressive. <laughs> Jeez, right through the... Yeah, he blocked that after attacking twice. That's cool. I mean, interesting. It's interesting more than anything, I guess I should say. Now oh, we have an interesting connection. Maybe that's why my roll catch didn't work. I have to dodge kind of extra far with him. Battle of the Pokes. Oh yeah, look, I hit him first, but it didn't matter because of our latency. Yeah, we have a high latency, damn. I gotta, I gotta kind of attack into him. Can I get a backstab on that? No. <laughs> okay, interesting fight, Mr. Blue. Very interesting. Didn't think that was gonna hit him, I'm gonna be honest, but it did. Uh, me too, a uh, Putera, 100%. I would like the helm a little bit more without the hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Told you me and that guy had an interesting con er, connection. Oh! Oh, well! Ah! Oh. Backstab! <laughs> fun fight though, boys. Very fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, the hitboxes can be interesting. It's like when the air hits you, but then other times the sword's like beside your toe. You're like, that didn't hit? How? Uh, I go I go for uh, five Estus and two of the, the Ashen one. Oh, fuck. That's Dark Souls 3 talk. I go five Crimson and the two Cerulean. <laughs> Thank you so much, the Butera. I, I agree, though. I'd like to see my hair through the helm, and it was, like, just the helm on me. That was a bad choice with the hair. But I love the helm so much. It was, like, the first thing I wore in PvP, too. I thought it looked really cool. I like gold. There's a couple chess pieces you can use as well. I feel like uh, Banish Knight look, works good. Veterans looks a bit strange, but it's for optimal poise if I need it. I have a few outfits I've used with Melania's helmet at this point. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Bud guards. <laughs> uh, I can appreciate you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Forgot I said that. Oh, okay, this way. I actually like invasions here as well. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, that's honestly the best I can make the fashion look while having poise. That's what this is. Although, mm, I don't know if you can make it have 61 poise. I've tried a few different things. Didn't work out that well. Uh, the banished one looks okay, though. You can wear banished armor as well with this. Looks similar. Hello there. Dung consumer. The dung consumer. Hello. Oh, I have that as well. Dung consumer. 
Does that mean you have a teammate here who's going to feed me dung with you? What? I knew it! Ah, I knew it! Try to bait me into some un... Ah, uh, I don't even know what I'm going for, but I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> ah, I knew it! <laughs> that was never just one of you. Ah, uh, small bean, whatever the heck. Um... Whoa. That's what I think of that. That's what I think of you. <laughs> he got stuck in the animation. Oh, that's pretty unfortunate. I'm so sorry. That was funny though. I that's what you get. That's what you get for surprising me. <laughs> that's what you get. Smack, smack. I'm coming in. Bap, bap. Oh, I didn't combo. That usually does. I don't know what made that not combo. This covers great distance. Oh. Well, at least let me do something cool. I didn't kill you? Wow. <laughs> Fun fight done, consumer. Very fun. Veteran set isn't the best looking, that's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, it boosts one uh, of the, the next hit of your weapon by a decent amount. I don't know what the percentage is exactly on Royal Knight Resolve, but it works really well on thrust weapons. Because if you can get a counter damage hit while it's boosted, it works quite well. Especially in this game where you only get one hit at a time, you know, not many combos. It's nice to boost your one hit. So what I find useful, uh, I use the, the Stitcher with it, right? And then I do the jumping R1. And it combos into an R1, so I get that initial like hard-hitting jump attack into the light attack. I think uh, obviously you can use it better on like a lance or like an ultra or anything that has already high AR. It'll do well. But it has its place. Uh, the next time I use a bleed build, I'll try the, the bleed incantations. I haven't actually tried them, the dunks. I guess we'll do a bleed build soon. <laughs> I haven't done strength arcane yet. Um, scythe. Let's go this way. Oh, it gives you 61. Nice. Aristocrat hat, though. Hmm. How does the scaled armor look without... Oh, wait. Scaled armor. I thought you said veteran set. I was like, yo, veteran set without the cape might look just as weird. I was trying to make... Yeah, but I want Melania's helm, though. You know what I mean? That's the, the part that I care about the most. I think. Yo, Mike. Thank you so much, man. And the dunks. You guys are so kind. You can wear it with the cape if you want more poise. I'm not a fan of capes. I've been taking the capes off of all my armor. The one on the the Banished Knight looks... Oh, I wish you could get rid of the cape, but keep the cloth chest piece part. You know what I mean? Um, But you can't. <laughs> Super annoying. <laughs> What's poise? Fashion is all that matters. Exactly. Poise is... I, I, I lie, though. My, my fashion's kind of both. Oh, God! A bull goat! Okay, well... Um, Naginata. Did that bleed in one hit? That bled me in one hit. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. How did it bleed me in one hit? That is not normal. That is suspicious. What? Is this guy like, is this how powerful like being an overleveled phantom is, to be honest? That is how powerful it is, huh? That's crazy. 
crazy. He's only got one seppuku though. He's not even dual wielding. <laughs> He's not even dual wielding. How? They they need to fix being over leveled. That's crazy. That's insane. At no point should you ever be able to bleed in one hit. That's nuts. Like, I get the power of dual wield and all, but like, he's not dual wielding. This ain't normal. He missed there, else I would have bled. That's crazy. I need Seppuku to wear off to fight him, I guess. There's no way I'm fighting that unless the Seppuku's gone. <laughs> Good thing I dodged them properly or I'd be dead, dude. Did the host just die? <laughs> wow. Uh, cause when you dodge, if, when you dodge any status proc, you'll still get stunned mid dodge. So it looks like I'm not dodging it, but I am dodging it. I just, I'm not taking damage cause I'm dodging it and I get stunned. Now. That's the craziest thing I've seen. I've seen some OP shit. That's broken. That's fundamentally insane. You cannot have a weapon that bleeds on contact. What in the... Yeah. Yeah, they need... They need some work here. <laughs> That's actually insane. Yeah, being over leveled in this game is unlike any other Souls game. They, ooh, not here. They fucked up royally. Like in Dark Souls 3, being an overleveled phantom, you know, you had your advantages. You could wear armor that shouldn't be possible at your level with the vitality you had. Your stamina was pretty big. They scaled your health, though, pretty properly. I'm going to give them that. They scaled your health properly. And your damage to some degree. This game... <laughs> this game does not do that. <laughs> that is crazy. Actually insane. Yeah, basically, 99, like that guy has full arcane and his stat proc is not getting scaled down. That's that's how that's happening. That's crazy. With the gauntlets? Uh, with the scaled gauntlets, you mean? Oh, uh, but a different helm, yeah. I could change the helm, I guess, but... Do I have some very low robustness? No. My robustness is actually my highest. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Yeah, the downscaling in this game is just not existent, man. I'm surprised we didn't die, honestly. Like, it's crazy. Uh, where do we go? This way? Yeah. If that like never gets fixed, I think over time everybody's just gonna PvP at max level to like balance that. I hope it doesn't though, because <laughs> that'll kill invasion like the time you get in an invasion. Hello boys. How are we today, Red Mage? Hello. Oh, that was good. What's that? Is that a dragon? Oh god, thank god. What? I was behind the door, sir. I disagree. <laughs> I heavily disagree. Woo. Okay, this spear might not do well in here. This maybe. Poison mist, yeah. Okay, the running R2 is pretty aggressive. I was gonna say, I wonder if that'll guard break him, but he didn't go for it. I think that was a good trade in my favor, honestly. Shield poking? I can shield poke too. I don't want to, but I can. Yeah, there's some pretty uh, crazy things you can do, depending on what level you are at. 
Oh, that does good damage. Very good damage. Wait. What's this? Okay, this is a good escape route. We're good with this. I'm good with this. Bop. Oh, God. What's that? Oh, that was the death corner. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay. That's terrifying when there's three people with good spells in a hallway. You should fall off if you roll upstairs. It'd be interesting. Gotta watch out, man. You gotta, you gotta cast her behind you. I'd be all in there with you, but the wizard, the wizard is terrifying. I had enough poise to go through that. Shield poke. I knew you were gonna try shield poke. Yeah. Bye, dude. See you later. You were so confident with your teammate. <laughs> you were ready for anything, except for that. <laughs> How things have devolved from what you expected, wizard. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> that mocks his grave. The ice spears really good, man. Yeah, there's been some decent. I, as if that works that way after the update. That's so cool. So helpful, might I add, against shield poking. Oh yeah, the bitter steel. We did. We did die today. I just die barely. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. I win most of my invasions. Do I find a challenge in them? Yeah, because I still have to try really hard to not die in this game. It might seem easy as you're watching it, but it's not. The ones you see me die on, they'll look the same as the ones I'm winning on. The only difference is I get like double hit by a teammate or I get like surrounded. And that, that fear is always there in every invasion. Thank you. Hey, they're not simple wins, man. I'm trying. I'm trying out here. Just because I can talk to you and read chat at the same time doesn't mean I'm playing and trying hard. I am. I've just gotten really good at being able to space and read chat while I play. Um, and I got good at, at talking and not like getting, I don't know, in a panic situation when I'm getting 3v1. I guess that's why it seems like it's easy, but no. I'm still like paying really, really close attention to my dodges. Um, actually, where do we not invade often? What about over here? Let's go this way. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Marmo. Like, the times you see me survive and I have, like, 2 HP. Like, I'm just lucky. I would have died in that situation otherwise. But, yeah, I have been playing Souls games a long time as well, right? So, the menuing and stuff, that all that all kind of carries over from the other Souls games. I know it seems kind of crazy when this is, if you're coming in and this is your first Souls game. Uh, but it took a lot of years to, like, I don't know, most people to even think about doing this with their weapons. You know what I mean? The PvP community of like Dark Souls 3 kind of grew together. Like we all got better at the same time, learned all the same things. So, yeah, yeah, being positive helps. Too. I mean, it's just a game. I don't think we get like so angry. It happens though. Um, I haven't done the Crag Blade at all today, have I? Thank you, though, man. Uh, Miggy, no, actually. I think they play at different times than I do. Maybe time zone. I only play when I stream. So, uh, I play, I guess, four hours every second day. Like, if I'm active. Like, those are the only times I'm PvPing. Otherwise, I'm just, like, editing, slowly, like, grabbing items from my character. Not really. I, I don't do any PvP off stream. This way? Yeah, this way. Oh! Hello there! I wonder how this will do against the shield. Maybe not the best. I, let me just grab... Okay, this guy's kind of heavy rolling, though. That's not very good for him. Oh, they hit hard, though. 
Get my buff. I'm probably going to take a hit for this. <laughs> yeah. I want to hit hard, though. Hang on. They're going to stay on me until I do my next heal, so we're going to need to get some space. And to get some space, we're going to need some parkour. Boop. <laughs> okay, this weapon is not looking good for the situation. We're going to have to shield pierce them. That was a good trade for us. Hmm. 211. Okay. Open field with the way these guys are playing isn't going to be the best. They're kind of just like ignoring hits and ramboing together. <laughs> uh, maybe giant hunt then. It is raining. That'll lower their absorption to lightning. Uh, I thought he'd go for a third one. Shit. Actually, I wonder if we can. <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, that would have been so cool. I don't know if you can parry that second part though, can you? Maybe? Tough to say. Oh, he like dodged as I got it. So he gets like no damage. That's fine. Can you parry it? Okay. Oh, that was weird. It like hit me. Come here. Hit me. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, the damage! 1448. Holy. Alright, well, daggers are strong. Daggers can be strong. What the heck? Commander, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. You guys are so kind, actually. Ah, um, there we go. Ah, uh, well, menu being adds to the skill ceiling. I'm kind of against, in all games, taking away from any skill ceiling. I want them to take more and more skill. So you reward players that put time into the game. So yeah, I personally would be against it, because... While I could easily win by running the best weapons in the game... Like, I talked about this as well before, because there's some people that think menu is kind of cheap, but li listen to me. If you took away the ability to let players change their weapon in invasions and in combat, you know what you'd be fighting all the time? <laughs> the absolute best weapons in the game 24-7, because we wouldn't invade 1v3 like this with shitty weapons. So, if you took away our ability to menu, I would personally just be running the best weapons, because why would I go in with a really bad weapon when I can't swap it? You know what I mean? It would it would just not be fair to the guy that's already fighting 1v3. You, you really do need to reward like time investment in a game. And those are skills you get over time. I talked about that for Dark Souls 3 as well, because some people were against it. But also, you're adventuring in this game, right? Like... Imagine finding a weapon and not being able to put it on from your menu. Like, that'd be kind of lame. <laughs> I don't think I'd enjoy a playthrough game where I can't just, like, go through my menu, find what I've picked up, you know, try it out. Um, uh, I just don't think it would be as interesting. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, honestly, when you're fighting two really good players against each other, they won't be swapping their weapon too much. It's more for fun. Uh, like, if I was fighting someone extremely good, I wouldn't be in my menu all the time. Because then I'm not paying attention to my spacing and stuff. I'd be using really good weapons. That's what I would be doing. Uh, and the parrying thing you see me do. This, like, uh, that's, that's not something I'd be doing against, like, someone who's pressuring me really well as well either. That's more just for flair and fun. Uh, the only hard swaps that were actually super useful in DS3, though, were, like, really slow weapons to daggers. And Dark Souls 3 has a different combat system than this. There are benefits to hard swapping, though, for sure. I mean, they're, they're good in their own way. Uh, 
Uh, Lucia. Could I do double daggers? I don't have a second dagger on this build. Uh, because you can't sprint and change weapons. Uh, not playing with keyboard. You can do it on controller. It just takes some practice. Uh, so like, uh, you need to hold circle while you're running first, then go into your menu. But yeah, on keyboard, you can run whenever you want. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, I don't know how long the servers for Dark Souls 3 have been offline. But yeah, you know what actually is just as strong in this game as hard swapping, honestly? Uh, having a few weapons that uh, have different Ashes of War. You know what I mean? You could like surprise them with the changed up Ash of War. That's also another thing you can do. Um, I haven't really done that too much though. But I could see the benefit to it. You would throw your opponent off pretty well. Uh, yeah, people that uh, try back paddles. I've tried them. They weren't that good to me. I didn't find them that useful. Oh, hello there, pillows. The pillows and Luis Luisa? Luisa. Uh, no, I'm on controller. Hey! Hello. What's up, pillows? What do we want to use today? Uh, you said try the scythe, right? The halo scythe? Let's try this out. Yeah. Begin. Why were you doing that? <laughs> Boys, what was happening there that led to those decisions? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if you could do that in Elden Ring. In Dark Souls 3, you used to be able to like, you know, wait, when that guy's not firing a fireball at me, I'll whoop. Ah, uh, and get a backstab. But I don't know if it'll work in this. What are these things I'm running into? <laughs> this thing is so funny. You can! Okay. So I guess on a good enough connection it might work. Okay. Good to know. Sit down. I wanted to try it at me. Oh! Oh, that's... No! <laughs> that actually would have been it, but I'm dumb and I don't have a shield there. That's my bad. I forgot I put my claw mark seal below. That's really funny. Ah, uh, he was crouch attacking. You can actually parry the one-handed crouch poke, by the way. That's something that I found with testing. It's pretty interesting, but not two-handed. You can't can't parry the two-handed at all. What are you doing? What's the plan here, Vikes Beer Guy? <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't expect him to heal right there. That's funny. This guy loves his shields. Let's do this. Now I too have Vikes War Spear. Actually, you're not even using Vikes War Spear. You're using the uh, Tree Sentinel one. Is that a Worming Stone? <laughs> I don't get it. You trying to get me Madness procced? Hwa! Hwa! Oh! Snipe! Oh, that's so close. I think he's did the poison anyway, but fun fight, pillows. Fun fight, man. Come on, do it. Do it. Okay. We have a madness proc him, actually. I made him extra warm, keeping him nice and toasty. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Doesn't seem to do that much damage. The heavy is definitely better. Is he like almost madness? Oh, okay. GG though. I know, I don't expect when people are like really low health to just heal in my face, but honestly, it's a good play because I don't get to roll catch them, so.
Yeah, 100% Cthulhu. If you swap from like a, an Ultra or a Greatsword to the Corvine, Great Knife in DS3, super good because it stunned everybody no matter what, right? But yeah, a dagger swap in this, everyone just has poise, so. You just, you, you hit them for like a hundred and then you just get bashed. That's why I haven't done those. The parry swaps are fun though, I guess. But again, those are more for fun. Parrying in this is definitely harder, I find, than Dark Souls 3. Less attacks overall people do. They do a lot of long range stuff. No, you can't uh, get uh, any type of critical attack on like sleep animations or madness. They're already in like an animation. So when you hit them, they go flying just uh, from the from the hit. Our betrayer. Hello. This spear is very cool. I do agree. It doesn't, you know, I don't know. It doesn't hit the hardest. That's a wizard. That's a wizard. I must kill the wizard before it has a chance to hit me. No. You're also a wizard. No mercy. What is that? I have been playing this every second day-ish. I've never seen that spell. Is that the bubble? <laughs> Did he walk off the cliff? Oh, he definitely walked off the cliff. <laughs> I haven't seen that sorcery yet. Great Oracle Bubble. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot that exists. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Thank you so much, Commander. Oh man. That's, it's kind of good for PvE. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't try it out yet. Oh yeah, with the Claimin Harpoons Golden. Forgot they have that. Actually, you get that there, don't you? By the, the dragon boss? Well, quote unquote dragon, but like, whatever that boss is. Dragon Lord. I forget his name. Guys, guys, kick down the ladder. Believe in me. Kick down the ladder. Damn, I'm gonna have to warp up there. Oh, that's not a finger. That's a piece of crab. Oh yeah, no problem, Theodorus. Hang on a sec. Depending on where this warps me, I think they're going to go into the boss fight anyway. There's the build though. I have five less faith, just so you know. Ah, uh, Dragonkin Soldier. Yeah, that's his name. They'll die before kicking the ladder, maybe. I don't know. They didn't go into the boss fight yet, but... Where are they? Over there. Ah, <laughs> eats the finger, holds the crab. That's the way. Uh, I only have two characters that I've run at level 80, Weston. Um, this one I think took like 50 hours, my Vagabond, I think, before I started PvPing with it. But I didn't have like an optimal like route at that point that I thought was good. Now I know where all the golden seeds are and the sacred tears and... um. What else would I need really early? Well, obviously the invasion item. But uh, the other time I literally just did like kind of like a playthrough at level 80. Well, sorry, not even. I did it at level 50, not level 80. Oh, hello there. Now I would be faster when I do the, the faith one. Hello there. Hubert, I don't like wizards being with me in an open field that screams danger. Can go through the shield with this actually it'll be better with this thing right here if he gets close to me moon veil oh this is poison oh i don't even know where we are hold up i thought we were by the altus plateau where the hell are we are we like oh we're outside the castle oh oh well that changes things you want to shoot wizardry at me Silly. 
That was right on your toe, Hubert. Now you're dead, Hubert. You seem to like the long range. Well, here you are. Y'all fighting methods are here for you. Oh, you dodge. Good dodge. Good dodge. You think going over here is going to save you? There's a cliff here as well. Yeah, you can't get up here. Aha. Okay, well, that was bad for me. <laughs> I didn't know you could get up there. I took a different route. Oh, he had rivers of blood this whole time. I didn't even notice. Filthy rivers of blood. Where hell? Hang on a second here. I have just the tool for you, Mr. Wizard. Three sixty. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hit by that shit. Woo. Okay. Freaking rivers of blood, man. Rivers of blood and dragon breath. Always an interesting combo. Why is it always those things together? Every time. <laughs> hey, yo, no, thank you so much, man. Okay, we can go up here. I'm not going to stay in this death tunnel because that's just a bad idea. Oh, bug. Oh, I couldn't even see that other guy because of the tree. Okay, we'll go this way. It's safer. That's what they get. Get your ganky tools out of here. There's so many things that are just so strong in a group. Dragon Breath being one of them. It's far too crazy. Mix that with freaking that. Alone it's fine, like I don't even mind it, but when you when you put it in like a team setting, it's crazy. Far too strong. I need to get rid of him first. Ah. I tried to aim it where he was gonna be. Yeah, he is very hard, for sure. If I can get him alone, we'll kill him in like a second as well. It's just the mix of bloodhounds. I mean, wait, what is he even using on that other thing? Oh, that's the, that's that weird ultra. Oh yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, we can put some regen on them. I hate rivers of blood. I'll always hate rivers of blood. Yeah, it's the rivers that makes a lot. Oh, jeez, I did so much damage. So did I, though. Okay, fair. Me and you. Come on. I'm one hit. You're one hit. Come on. Oh, you're... Go oh, my God. Okay. Jesus, dude. <laughs> we were both one hit, but he had to deal with the rivers of blood. Okay. Get them, boys. We have regen to do. This is some cheese. Oh, uh, yeah, the Black Flame Greatsword. Yeah, for sure. I can kill the Rivers of Blood. Man, they're really staying together no matter what I do. I gotta, like, separate them. We're not gonna win the trade at this health. At what all. What would you define as a gang? We're gonna go in I'm here. I'm in a semantics argument on Discord, Darren, and want an expert take haha. -ha. Um, I'll have to answer that in one second. Sorry, guys. I'll read that. Just need to separate the Rivers of Blood, dude. They're yes, yes. You know what? Yes, yes. Come here, Rivers. Come here. Yes, yes. Be brave. Be brave. I'm low health. Ah, you're not gonna come up here until he's with you, coward. It's been good though, man. It's been good. What's my exit here? I can chip them down a little bit. I 
need a way to like fully separate them though. I knew he was going to go for the hit right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're getting our health back slowly though. I like that they're aggressive at least, but man, do I hate rivers. He has so much L2 power. Maybe we can get some cannon effects going on here. Ah, they're in. Okay, you know, we're going to have to go around. They're going to camp that ladder 100%. We can't give them the satisfaction of the ladder kill. Ah, uh, thank you guys so much though. Uh, uh, more cannon kills, please. Yeah, yo, I'm doing that right now for you, actually. I'm going. I'm going to our spot. Watch them out of Blood Dragon, man. Yeah, it's just the breaths that, like in a team setting. They're so difficult because their AOE is gigantic. Like. It's not easy to deal with. Yeah, they're kind of camping that one spot that that other team was. Okay, it's okay. We, we know how to deal with that. This is fine. Uh, and thank you, uh, Dr. Fire. What uh, term would you define as gank? Any three-man team actively looking to PV... Well, I mean, I would just say, like, 3v1 waiting in an area for an invader in general. So even if you're, like, going through the game, right, and you've played Elden Ring before, if you're sitting in, like, an area and just 3v1ing, you are ganking. If you're actually like going through the game, you know, participating like a normal playthrough while getting invaded, I wouldn't call it that. But people that like clear out areas. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> this guy's rune arced up, ready for war. Oh, I'm full health again. Where's his summon at, though? That's the real question. Hmm, says he's like right there. He's just hiding at this point, so I think he's gonna try to resummon. Can I just get down here? Where's the Rivers of Blood guy? Oh, he's over there. I haven't seen the summon in a while. I'm a little bit <laughs> hesitant. He seems like he's alone, but I don't trust that. Where's your teammate at? That was pretty. No damage. <laughs> I know that the dude with the rivers of blood is gonna come near me eventually. I do have a perfumer behind me. I see that. Okay, we'll go closer. We can go in now, maybe. I smell nice now with the perfume, exactly. Is there a way for me to get down from here to over there? That'd be cool. There is! This is livable, right? Yep. Cool. Cool, cool. We keep this on because the guy with the rivers of blood is going to just... Surprise! <laughs> as soon as I get over there, but... Okay, where's your rivers of blood, buddy? I don't remember him going home. I don't remember seeing that message. Guess he did, though. Okay, well, GG. Did he die at some point? I really don't remember where the, the rivers of blood dude went. Oh well, goodbye. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, yeah, maybe. Maybe he tried to come up and get me. Aha! That was the tactic all along. We separated them. By being annoying with a cannon. That was the secret. Damn it.
Keep going down here. Well, four pokes is a lot less than the amount of L2s that were used on me, so I'll take it. <laughs> four pokes versus 30 uh, Rivers of Blood L2s. <laughs> probably left because he was out of FP, probably. That's the way all the Rivers of Blood are. This place is actually really cool. Hello, boys. Hello. Poke. Pow. Why am I fat rolling? Dodge the cannon. I mean, dodge the dragon breath. <laughs> that was the most anime escape, by the way. Fat rolling into safety. Hello. Wait. Where are you going? Come here. I have, I have, I have something I want to try. Okay. I guess I gotta go around. <laughs> that was amazing. Right into the hole. Someone died. What? How did he die? <laughs> oh well, I'll take it. Ooh, wait. Lower than me. Always oh, never been by the dung eater? Can I open this? I can't. Damn, all right, we're gonna warp. We going to the Kaka Summoner? Yeah, I didn't mean to, but we ended up there. What the? Why the? Are they in here? Why am I down here now? <laughs> All right, well, whatever. So I'll take it. We'll just we'll just go up. <laughs> Guess I'm down here now. I got lower. <laughs> I'll accept it. I don't see this going well. Truly, I do not. The loathsome dung eater. What is a useful ash for? Storm stomp while I'm on here, I guess. I'm gonna get plunged. Maybe not. Okay. Strange. What? I'm so confused. Oh, they got the shortcut. Okay. It must have like caught me when they were doing that little shortcut opening. So it threw me down there. <laughs> Hello there, Dorgan. Doragan. Hello. No more dragon breaths. No more. No one wants your dragon breaths. Oh, we can't S this right now, though, so... Oh. But he can Madness. And he can Rock Throw. I need FP. Whoa. Uh-oh, that can hit me. <laughs> Something evil I want to do. <laughs> I hit him out of it! Nice! Ah, 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 that's funny. Come back here, Dragon. I want to breathe stuff at you as well. Lucky. Double lucky. Unlucky. What? Very lucky. What? <laughs> Nani? Oh man, he's laggy. I see. Wait. Did he get sniped out of the air? No. My man's taking me on a mission. Oh, but his mission failed. 
He fell. The fuck? <laughs> he was Houdini though, I really couldn't follow him. What the hell? <laughs> what do you think knocked him off? <laughs> My bets are on the gargoyle. I, uh, well, the little... What are those even called? Statues? They look like little thrall hoods. <laughs> Gravity doing some work today, you're not wrong. Oh, nice, an instant invasion here, I'll take that. Let's do a little bit of double scything, that was cool. Sorry, I meant, I meant, uh, not gargoyle. The, uh, the imp statues, oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I said gargoyle. My bad. Sometimes I don't English well. This is quite the spawn. They're way down there! Oh, Game, what the hell? <laughs> Why? I literally usually spawn down there. They're down there? Game's like, nah. Tree. What, what depicts where you spawn? Like, what, what, what are we... What are we using to choose the location? Because there's a spawn point down there. Oh, why no cannon? Oh, I guess. I guess I can use some cannon. <laughs> We've been doing that a lot today. I figured you'd want more actual fights. But, you know, everyone likes the cannon. I know I could jump. I'm lazy, man. I just wanted to get there. I guess I can throw on the... The range one. Which one is the range one? This one. What are they fighting? Oh, the, the, do the dogs. The frogs. Oh, right in the butt. I'm the sniper I was meant to be. They're right below this. I don't know where I am. Shh. Oh god. I can get on that, you think? Oh, that's not very, like, high. Alright, sniping round two. Only for you guys. It's because you asked. I need to get over there. I bet you you can make, like, a straight up cannon build. Like, purely optimized. Melania, cannon of Mikkel. Aww, why did you send him home? No. No. Okay, well now we'll just go kill him, I guess. <laughs> Dude, the Grapo is hilarious. There's still a I, I guess there's a Grapo in this, but it's, the cannon is better. Oh, hello there. Um, hey Genos. You know what? Close range cannon, something we've all never seen before. <laughs> this guy's like, what am I supposed to do about this? Oh, that's, a that's a good call. Ow. You dare? <laughs> Throw lightning? What? <laughs> 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 Hang on, I can I can buff my no wrong tactical heal time. <laughs> All right, we wait. This hill though, my build is nerfed by a hill. Yours doesn't travel for some reason near the ground like mine does. Great sword, lad. I missed. <laughs> I didn't get a backstab, that's so sad. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Backstab damage sucks! Oh my god, why? Why would that not do more damage than that? I feel so bad for this guy. That's so bad! Hey, hey, you don't get off me, I'm about to hit you with the sword. I promise I'll do it. That's right, you were you were dishonoring. Oh, 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 oh
You're dishonoring the duel. Pull back out your lightning. Do it. There you go. I'll kill you with a sword if you make me. <laughs> Summoning in our honor cannon fights. You dare resummon? Ow. Rude. <laughs> I was having fun, and look what you've done. Look what you've done. You ruined it. Absolutely sullied it. Absolutely maidenless behavior. <laughs> hey, say, Tama. What's up? What do I got left? One, one Estus? Alright, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Come here, Saitama. Into the water where you're weaker to my build. Yes, this way. Into the white lake. This way. This way, my pretty. Oh no, you also have lightning. Okay. Whoa. I'm locking, loading my poke. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I could have probably got that backstab, actually. I thought he was going to roll away. This guy actually had a lot of lightning ready to go. He was ready for the war. Oh, Saitama lives. Oh, dodge the lightning. A little bit of a zap in the water. <laughs> Giant dad build, yes. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll go with this because he just got resummoned, so he's got a lot of heals ready to go. I need to make sure he can't use those. Oh. Oh, or I get stunned for 18 attacks at once. What? The heck was that? Oh, the frames, my game! Oh my god, why'd that just happen? Okay, GG. My game almost like froze when I got hit there. <laughs> Fun fight, though, boys. Fun fight. I'll show you the stats in one second. Well, that was a funny cannon invasion. Minus the end where he summoned him back. Frame attack? What do you think caused that? That was so weird. I'm running here now and I'm not getting frame rate loss. That's so strange. That rarely happens to me. That was like the first time I've seen that happen that bad. Oh, <laughs> more cannon fun. <laughs> there we go. Wait, is this the same guys? That'd be hilarious if it was. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, that ain't reaching. That is not reaching. Maybe the lightning? I don't know, man. That's weird, though. It's strange that I lost, like, every frame rate possible. Um, let's just go in this time, though. Wait, how do I... I'm just gonna finger over there. Someone casted Elden Stars, maybe. Oh, yeah, this is better. Much better spawn point. Ah, oh, here's the stats for you guys. There you go. Yeah, the jar cannon is actually such a fun time. Ah, I like I die. No. Oh, right here. What in the... That was really bad too. Okay, maybe just like running into this lake and out of this lake. Loads in different things. Because yeah, my game just like, oh. Or my game's having a problem. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Kyojiro, damn it. Why'd you guys both die? 
Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Memory leak? Usually the game crashes though when that happens. I don't know. Let's go for one more invasion somewhere. Not there, I guess, as my game is having issues. We'll go here. You have problems in the milk water too. Hmm. You know what? I had a really long invasion there once where the guy was using Elden Stars and I thought it was just the Elden Stars, but I guess it could be the area. Just in the water part though, not on the trees. Yeah. Yeah, easy anti-cheat is not helpful. <laughs> it definitely causes some frame stutters every now and then on its own. I know that because other games that have it also have that issue. Um, okay, we'll go this way. Down here. Oh, oh man. Okay. Uh, I haven't actually tried the Blade of Calling. I'm using the Black Blade right now, Kevin. They seem the same though. Their Ashes of War looks similar too. Yeah, just that corner of the area. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Alright, boys. We finished this with a, a really a nice Dexy twist to it. The scythe that we don't get to use much. A wizard! Two wi Wait, is that a... That's two wizards. Oh, God. That one has not been doing cardio. Oh my god, and they both have not leveled their health. Whoa. That's right, wizard. I have wizard blasts as well. They just come in the form of a lightning urn. Cannon! Oh. That's not the cannon of Haima. That's a bubble. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what a beam. I didn't know I could do that. It's funny. Flies! Oh, they're they're bleed wizards. Interesting. Oh, step step foot on my wall. Oh, that's it. This is a dangerous spot to be for him as well. It's a lot of electric things here. Oh god, dude, that's that's not that's not the health you want. You want more health than that. But I'm a melee build that has wizard tendencies. <laughs> Blood slash. Blood slash. Blood slash. Blood slash. Flies forever, apparently. Is that guy just in the back casting 18 flies? <laughs> Seems like it. Okay, we're gonna switch our weapon. The scythe is not decent at roll catching this guy. Blade of Calling! Actually, I forget what this one's called. Blade of Death, maybe. Even now, you use the flies? Wah. Uh, I feel like whenever I use that, I'm like just out of range. Trying it out, but... It's really only that good as like a finisher. It's not the best otherwise. Alright, Ophelia. Let's go. And your homie host. <laughs> They're funny. Maybe we'll cannon these guys. They might deserve the cannon. <laughs> the little tea bags from them, that's funny. guy. You know what? Let's bring up the cannon. One last cannon. Man. Only fair. Why am I? I'll take my hood off so I'm not. Actually, I like the hood. I'll take the gauntlets off. I like the gauntlets have. Yeah. This looks better. Hey there. Hey. You're running from a man with a cannon? 
Oh, that could be bad. <laughs> okay. Alright, we won't move about. That guy does really good damage. Let's go back. We go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I was memeing with a cannon. Don't run away. Don't run. That's the barrel. Oh. <laughs> the phantom fell in the elevator shaft, didn't he? He fell in the elevator shaft. <laughs> Silly goose. <laughs> there you go. Uh, why would you let him do that? Why would you let him do that? Boop. 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 Okay, at this point we're kind of just, we're just memeing a bit. Oh, all right, GG man. <laughs> I wanted to parry the second half of the Ash of War, but he didn't do it. <laughs> he didn't do it, man. <laughs> I am sorry. All right, we'll end it there, boys. That was actually a really fun stream. The build was very awesome. I like I like some of the faith weapons. We got some kills with the black knife. The Ash of War was useful. Halo Scythe was fun. Uh, I don't really like the wing scythe that much. Am I weird? I don't know. I don't like its moveset. It's hard to hit that Ash of War anyway. So, but I do like the tree spears. And obviously, Vikes of War spear is very fun. So, who else can we go give a raid to? It was good. There was good damage testing, Maxis. There was. Um. Let's see. Ah, uh, you know we got uh, is Peeve, Peeve, Peeve. You know what? Peeve is invading. If you guys want to watch someone else invade, Peeve is doing some invasions. And you know what? He actually uses the cannon on the build that he's using. So, if you want to watch someone else do some cannon invasions, I'm sure he's got you. I will see you guys all next stream. Not sure what build yet. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys then. Get some rest. Good night, all. Goodbye. Thank you so much for the support, donations, views. It's been nice, guys. Thank you.